Okay. <laughs> uh, I have lowered the settings quite a bit. And the game seems to be running a lot better. It looks like I wasn't using upscaling properly, and I might have actually been rendering at native uh, 4K, which is a bad idea. I should not be doing that with the graphics card that I have. Uh, and I think I might have fixed it. Daniel, hey, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Never had to do that before for a stream, so oh no. Um, let's hope this is a bit better. I'm just going to wait for two seconds and double check some settings. This is so funny. How's how's your Sunday going? Mine mine has been an adventure. Okay. Varl, how you holding that, buddy? Where'd you go? Oh, I have no arrows. Can I craft arrows? No, I have no ridge wood. This is just like zero dawn. I'm running out of ridge wood again. Okay, let's keep going. Priscilla, hey, thanks for Wow, I can I can change my thanks for stopping by to thanks for coming back. <laughs> oh gosh, is it is it uh, looking okay? And uh, let me know if that sound thing comes back. I'm hoping that maybe that was just a result of my PC struggling to maybe render things properly. Now that I've lowered the settings quite a bit, hopefully it should not be screaming at you all. I I don't want the game to scream at you. I want you guys. I want to scream at you guys in excitement, and that's the only screaming that there should be. This is funny, I was watching a Digital Foundry, I think, video about the game before it came out, and he was complaining about how the texture for this specific log wasn't loading in, and it's still not loading. Bit pixelated, oh, oh no. One second here, game audio might cut out, ooh, all right, this is not the base map. Can I jump again? Oh no. Is the jumping looking weird? Oh no! Okay, one second. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that should be... Okay, okay. This is why I should stream with a PlayStation and only a PlayStation. Mike, hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, good to see you here. Never played this. Oh, you probably should. It's a really great game. I'm going to try and keep the stream spoiler free. Um, if I let a thing or two out here and there, I apologize. I will try not to. The landing is loud. Oh, so the, the sound thing is still weird. What? That is so weird. Is anything else loud? Like, oh, I, I'm really worried the shooting's going to be bad. That's such a weird issue. It sounds okay on my end. Um, tell you what, I have an idea for a very quick fix. So sorry, everyone. Uh, the next part will hopefully be a bit more smooth. Uh, I'm just going to cut out the game audio super quickly here. Yeah, okay. Weird. Oops. And we are back. Thank you for stopping by once again. Although it sounds like the sound issue might still be here, which is concerning. How are you holding up, Varl? Doing okay, buddy? I'm not. After playing Dragon Dogma 2, it looks like the best looking piece of media no matter what. <laughs> Fair. I haven't heard much about that other than like just the, the controversy. Bitter? No. Oh, love that callback. The game doesn't let you jump until you do that, I think. There we go, the yeah. Along the way. Yeah, good idea. That fixed the loud menu? How's the how's the jumping? Okay, there's one more thing I want to try fixing. 
thank you guys for your patience. I really appreciate it. I kind of don't know what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> and yes, I am a developer. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm going to try something and it might like just destroy everything. And if that happens, I'm so sorry. We can always do part 1.3, you know? You know? Oh, wait, 68. Okay, okay, okay. I have a better idea for what I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to fix the, the output bitrate. For some reason in my settings, it went super far down, which is odd, and I don't know what happened there. Uh. Video is, yeah, that's good. Do, 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 apply. Okay. Either that's going to make the game look amazing or we're going to crash again. You know, I wish I could just feed my PC some coffee and it'll be better, you know? Because that works for me. Okay. Should catch up the chat. Black Daisies, thanks for coming back. Oh, man. I can spoil as much as I want to. Okay, good to know. I'm going to try not to, but I can't promise that uh, one or two things won't slip out, either in chat or in, in the video. Um, I don't expect many people who haven't seen the game already to stop by. Although, of course, there, there are a few, but uh, it is an incredible story. There are so many twists and turns, so we'll try and keep that. Still unnaturally loud. Oh, still bonk sound. There's indeed a sound effect similar to when you do a microphone check. Weird. It might be the street. Yeah, because I can hear it fine. In agile development, this would be called iterating. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Much better now? Okay. How is the... I'm, I'm going to jump one more time. I'm so sorry if there's loud bonks. The weird thing is, is um, I did a quick couple of test recordings uh, before starting the stream, and I didn't hear it. So it's something specifically with the stream settings, which is baffling me just a little bit. I'll just head up this cliff. If, if the sound persists, uh, I might reschedule the stream for like an hour or so from now? Maybe not a whole hour, but I do want to get to the bottom of it, because you think it's okay? Still sound effects issues. Oh, shoot. That's so weird. Hey, Key Shaker. Traveled a long way to you played the you. game, and for finally like to watch my videos, thank you so much. Times too. I appreciate it. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. Well, it's not easy keeping up with my settings, apparently. Um, huh. I'm gonna do... It's somehow better. Sounds like someone hitting a mic when she lands. Okay. Hmm. Something wrong with the sound. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. And... It may or may not work. Do 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 do. How is your guys' Sunday going? <laughs> I, um, other than all of this, I hope it's going well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to turn off my audio monitoring. I'm really hoping I'm not about to like double up all of your audio. If I do, I'm so sorry, I'll have it fixed in a couple seconds. Okay, yep. Yep. Test. Okay, yeah, my monitoring's off. And so now, I'm just going to do And 
No, that's, that's not, not it. it. Oh no, a nice evening of stream stress-free. I'm sorry if... Or sorry, stream, stream stress, yes. I'm right there with you. <laughs> uh... Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where that went. Okay. I are you getting some clicking ASMR? That's exciting. Tell you what. I would hate to have to restart the stream, but I might have to restart the stream again. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh my. Oh? No, that's not it. I'm good at this, I swear. Um I'm gonna test something really quick. Okay, can you hear the game? It might be, sorry, I just gotta restore chat. It might be like very loud or very quiet. I can adjust that, but can you hear the game? And let's, let's move along. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna send it back to how it was. I just Grendel's wanna play, yo. That's where we need to go. Yeah, Grendel, that's exactly what I'm using. And I'm I thinking few ways down. I need to get away from that. It's what worked exactly? up until now, which is the weird thing. So I'm the trying backup? to go back to just the regular well, um, desktop capture. It's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. I'm thinking maybe like loud Think sounds like, like the... A set of instructions oh, right, I got to jump. Sorry. The world. <laughs> sounds complicated. If I'm like destroying your eardrums right now, the water effects are very clear. Yeah, I am near a lot of... Traveling light these days. Yeah, I am... Um... Ran into some trouble on the way here. Are we ever going to find out what that here. trouble was? No, we're definitely not. I don't it's fine. Put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Oh no! I want to do the dive. No, uh, it's okay. Much better. Okay, Ooh. it's fixed. Okay, the the game is just louder. Okay, one last thing. I'm just going to lower the to like here. Hopefully, this is reasonable. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being patient and staying with me here. I really appreciate it. Um. I wish I could have tested this beforehand, but you know what? It's, it's, it's okay. GG Rogan! You know what this, this calls for? This calls for my Jason glasses. I'm so cool. <laughs> Dialogue is lower in PC version, I use 100. Okay, gotcha. I'll have, yeah, I'll have to mess with the settings. Um, I'm so glad it's working. Thank you guys again so much for <laughs> um, putting up with my, my little anxious dev moments. We still got the dive. There we go. Let's go. Problem solving. Do you guys know how many, like, demos I've been in for either games that I've worked on or projects and things have just, like, exploded on the spot? <laughs> Too many. Too many. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna have to go back in the footage and do a count of how many times my soul just like left my body in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> it's just like, what? What's happening? With the shades? Oh, 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 you might have missed that joke. A lot of you might have missed that joke. It's... It's my twin brother Jason. He likes to wear sunglasses when I feel like I've... I, I deserve to be a little cool. That's how I make myself feel better, Someone you know? Down this machine recently. Gotta have something. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble. Ridgewood? Good My favorite? Picked up some Ridgewood. 
Oh, okay, I have been playing so much Zero Dawn, and I'm so sorry I have not actually finished the Zero Dawn series quite yet. I, again, I had to go home for uh, a week, and so I didn't manage to finish my recording for it. Um, but I will get back to it and hopefully do the last quest soon. Last couple of quests, but having played that game so long, it feels so good to be back in Forbidden West. I just feel so much more comfortable. Uh, and of course, that's just... Uh, it just has to do with the better design of... Uh, character control, the gameplay, everything is just so much better and well iterated in this game. Sorry, I'm rambling. My soul is still coming back to my body, but point being, it's good to be back. Identical twin? Yes. He may or may not be real, and I may or may not have convinced my entire grade 12 class that he was real and was attending the school with me. This actually worked. I'm not kidding. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the, uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. Oh, it's a little fox. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Far yeah, out, bro. I agree. Too. And starve. We're not gonna let My twin Jason loves sports. So, um... Yeah, he lives for it. What happened? Can't I open some of these? Yeah. Left Meridian. Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You're right about that. Ah, we are in the part Find of the story anything? where Aloy is still a little bit a few supplies. touchy. Which is reasonable. She is in charge of saving the whole world, but. Done this way. I just want to like skip ahead to Burning Shores where she's like actually really sweet and friendly. And... Ah, she still is, you know, but. Okay, everyone, first combat in Ultra Hard from scratch. This is how it all ends. I believe you said that you did this. Wish me luck. Most dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. With a lot of tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. Before we make our move. Give it a okay. second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak it's spots. Eye. It's a weak spot. Ugh. Right. The focus is also implemented at so nicely in Forbidden West. It was hard to go back to it in Zero Dawn. Except the embassy, you always skipped that one. It's, uh, there's a lot in that embassy. Also, the haptics have feel a bit different for this game. The grass feels very strong. I'm playing a controller, by the way. Um, but some of the trigger haptics were missing, so I wonder if that's just, like, a setting thing. Oh, yeah, focus pulsing, too. I gotta get used to that once again. Yeah, I am definitely gonna stealth kill him. Uh, let's okay, throw a rock. A Rost would be proud. It's all cheers to Rost. He's a real one. Oh, that reminds me. I meant to do my Rost face paint and I completely forgot. I got home like an hour before starting the stream. We'll do it next time. I'm so well organized, everyone. It's it's impeccable. I haven't even unpacked for my trip yet. <laughs> oh, God. Another one's coming. Yeah, I can't. The, the arc in this game is incredible, and uh, she gets a lot of hate for it, especially at the start of the game, which I understand, but um, no, I, I appreciate the arc so much. And it is completely reasonable that she's feeling this way, given everything that's like on her shoulders right now. Like, I, I just imagine her like at the end of Zero Dawn, like she's on that high from killing Hades, and then it all just hits her at once. Like, I'm not done, and things are going to go so poorly so quickly if I don't do this. Let me get a little closer, buddy. Come on. I miss Ross. I know. What a guy. He'd be so proud of her. And like she says, I forget when she said this, but he would have... He wouldn't understand none of this, but I know he'd be proud. I mean, to serve a purpose greater than yourself, what greater purpose is there than what she's How doing? Focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. <laughs> like a hunter Thanks, Daniel. Me too. It's been a while. Kind of. I'm really hoping to try and start stream, streaming a bit more regularly now that I've settled into a bit more of a work schedule. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? 
Hopefully the game audio is okay, by the way. Uh, let me know if it isn't. But uh, weekends are a bit iffy for me, but I'm thinking Mondays or Wednesday I could probably sneak in a stream consistently every week. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I just, I finally got myself a stream deck, which may or may not have been a frivolous purchase, but I'm excited to start playing around with the keybinds for it. I can finally turn my lights off with a button. Uh, if you're not aware, I don't, my room doesn't actually have um, real lights. I live in a weird like den thing. It's very warm in here as well. Uh, but as a result, I have to turn on my phone to turn on my lights, which is so annoying. And now I can just hit a little button because it connects to the stream deck, which is so fun. Yes, I gotta, I gotta bring back the Ross paint, the uh, Death Seeker. Also, I gotta get that on Aloy. We can't get face paint though until, until the clan lands, right? I wish they had that in, in Chain Scrape or in Plain Song. They have outfit dyers in Plain Song, but not the face paint. Yeah, I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. Yen, yeah, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but thanks for stopping by. Uh, that, you know what? I didn't turn it off for my Let's Play, but you know, I think it's a good idea. We should probably turn it off. Uh, where is that? I never turned it off. What's the difference between... Oh, gotcha. I've never actually played with it turned off because I thought it would like throw off my rhythm in a weird way, but let's let's just turn it off. If any of you do enjoy the pickup animation, which I assume is not many of you, I apologize. <laughs> Going into a ruin of the old ones. Oh, um, Black Daisies, Texas. you can get that that bonus if you connect your. I don't think I have it in my inventory yet, right? No, um, if you connect your PlayStation account to the um, through here to your PC or your Steam account or whatever you're playing it on, I think you can get the Ross Legacy. I think I did that already, so we should get it once we get to uh, to the Dawn. I, I made some tech trades at Zero Dawn, but. <laughs> this part's funny. Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek. I see how it is. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well. Ramdi, yeah, she came. Such a long way. I mean, looking at where she is at the end of Burning Shores, it's incredible. Please hold for I, I have a lot of, like, love-hate opinions about Burning Shores and what happened with Seika. Overall, I really do enjoy it. it doesn't like me either. Um, but from a, the standpoint of Aloy's character growth, it's just incredible. Gone but not forgotten pickup animations. This is how it all ends. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta keep playing. It's, okay, I have not had as much fun as I've ha been having with Baldur's Gate. You know, like since Horizon Forbidden West, probably here. I love that game. I just haven't been playing it that much because I'm so busy, which is on me, which is on me. I am. I'm at Act Two though. I, I've started Act Two. I'm just behind in my uploading. So where are they now? I think there's uh, five episodes I have to upload for Baldur's Gate until my Act Two starts. Ugh. Oh, what's that stench? That was weird. I haven't. Oh, did I say did I say I was gonna keep the spoiler free? Oh shoot. Who's who's Seika? Um the no pickup animations is weird. <laughs> what happened to Seika? Uh I don't know. Uh unless we're okay with making this spoilery, I don't know. But uh I will let's just say the the interactions between Aloy and Seika. Something big came in from above. Crash right through the camp. And through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Surely it was just an acid bristleback, or bristleback, brittleback. That's funny. Oh, when I first saw this, I was sure there was going to be another stupid train dummy achievement. So I sat here for like an hour, going, "Why aren't you dying, Cut. sir?" Spoiler: There is none. What am I supposed to be scanning right now? God, having no HUD is interesting. Am I supposed to scan him? Maybe I should turn interaction markers back on. <laughs> oh, no, I gotta investigate this, gotcha. Whatever came through here. After Red Dead Redemption 2, I've had enough of pickup animations. I need to play Red Dead. I have a feeling I would get so lost in that game. I love immersive, expansive open worlds. And somehow I just haven't gotten to that one yet. I think I got something. Oh, the beard is so good. It's some kind of Cheers awesome prototype, to I beards. 
This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Mm. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Ah. Hi, Varl. Good to see you, Varl. A couple of things to check out. Listen, I know that Aloy is an amazing tinkerer. There's no way that she made the pull caster in like two seconds. So I'm just gonna believe that they took like a five hour like sit down session, in which point Aloy engineered one of the greatest tools ever. Could help fix the gears. But I guess the awesome already had some stuff going, so she just improved it. So that's fair. Glad I got the the name all right, Hien, I believe. Uh, and thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Seiko who? Yeah, Priscilla. I have no idea who that is. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right. Oh, okay, ends, yeah. What I, I just, uh, what, what happens at the end with Aloy and Seika? Um, I overall it's like, it's just, I feel like the you could use this duration of the story and some of the beats just didn't 100% land for me. Still, still loved it though, I mean. I feel like my, my main complaint, honestly, is just like, why not Talana, you know? <laughs> There. Uh, but uh, you know, it's fine. Pull, caster. Now to test it on the debris. I love strong platonic friendships. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. I actually meant to trim it. Again, I just got back from my trip and I have not had time to like fix my life. But you know what? It's okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I, I was not waiting to play Horizon. We have to find a way to keep going. In hindsight, maybe I should have tested things a little bit What's because this? we had the whole last half What's hour, but you know, for? it's fine. It's fine. Oh, really, Mike? I, Arthur Morgan's the protagonist of two, right? I know one and two have different different ones. That's good to hear. To introduce you to Far Zenith. Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars. This sounds culty. You have to cross Gotta say. Six light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium where we'll unveil our plans. Oh, I, it's subtle, but the draw animation in Forbidden West in compared to Zero Dawn is really good. It just feels more natural. Find out. And there's more uh, variety to the draw uh, animation for sharp shot bows, normal bows. I guess war bows don't exist anymore, but it, really well done. Uh, okay, did I turn off the grapple points? Or do we have to do this first? I believe we have to do this first, yeah. Nope. I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. Do I have to scan it? Ah, okay, gotcha. Oh, I've missed the pull wow. caster. That it's works? so fun. Now, I don't have the shield wing. I'm definitely going to take some fall damage in the daunt before we get it. Don't worry. I'll find you another way up. Happened a couple times in Zero Dawn, of course, but not as many as I expected, actually. Anthony, hey, glad you could come back. Uh, sorry about all of the difficulties we had earlier, but it looks like things are going well, so I'm pretty happy about that. A little bit more overhead to doing this on PC than PlayStation, but uh, we're here now. So, oh, speaking of, I completely forgot. So, as I said, I went home for a week and I managed to finally get some of the things that I had sitting there that I don't have in my apartment here. Uh, and I finally recovered. This might mess up the green screen and I apologize. I finally recovered my my favorite Aloy picture. I just have a random framed picture of Aloy and I don't know where she's going to go yet, but I love her. I'm glad I have it. She could run from Colorado to California in 10 minutes. She really could. I mean, okay, I got to drop the ladder. For she Laura. fit. There you go, Burl. Thanks. Solana has her own romantic troubles. That is very true. Team Petra is like a valid team. I still ship it. Honestly, I love Petra so much. I only feel weird about I think Petra's a little bit older than her. I feel a little weird about that, but like Aloy is at least 20. So as long as it's consensual. Sophie, hey, thanks for stopping by. And, uh, and yeah, appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Glad you stumbled on the live. <laughs> we have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. 
And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than. I like to think this is like Varl just got. That's only the beginning. The craziest obsession with space complete, here. <laughs> we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. Serious. Can you imagine not having the focus like Varl and then seeing this within the first hour of having a focus? Oh my god. He must be so overwhelmed right now. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Shinvumbe. Shinvumbe, okay. I always say it wrong. Data corrupt. The playback stopped. I thought that was my stream. I got so nervous. Between the stars? Oh my god. Uh, well, yes. Sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Okay, we all knew at this point, and again, I'm going to try and keep things somewhat spoiler-free. We all knew at this point what the game was going to be about, right? If you, I think if you look back at my video, my first one, I was just screaming it the whole time. Gave them a backup of Gaia for their colony? If you like gruff, intimidating characters, Mike, that soften up over time, he's a treat. Okay, yeah, that sounds cool. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. So this is where they talk about the projections, yeah. We all know the projections. Projections. Economic instability. New biocontagions. Rampant AIs. Uh-huh. How long before another Say that again. creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe. Escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Oh, they're the worst, and yet it's so reflective of some people on in real life, here. right? And some groups. Oh. To support the Odyssey's construction, a state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements, and you've seen how we're managing public perception. There's so much truth to this series, so invest, honestly. And join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Daniel, you're hoping oh, for Illuin Aaron. Aaron. I, I can still see it. I can still see it happen. How. Maybe somehow. I love them so much. So everything they said back there. Roa, hey, the thanks for stopping for by. It was all a lie. <laughs> Have no fear. Honest Cake is here. Appreciate it. These people only cared about saving their own. Eddie, skin. hey, good to see you. Yeah, well, space. Look out for them in the end. Quoting the Space Corps from Portal Two. Space. I'm a simple person, I there. just go with whatever's canon. <laughs> Fair enough. So I'm a bit behind on chat. Oh, Varl's outfit looks very green right now. Won't be able to swim across. A weird lighting bug. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to properly upscale with my NVIDIA stuff, because I am actually, like, I have a 4K monitor, but it's Wild rendering at over this place. 180 right now, so I gotta figure that out later, but it's fine. Your theory, Black Daisy's sake, it will be a playable character in future Horizon games. That would be interesting. When, when Forbidden West was just getting Show spoiled off. and stuff, or not spoiled, but like, marketed, I suppose, there was a, a painting or a poster that came out with Talana on it, and so people were thinking it was going to be like a two-player thing with Talana, and then she just kind of got dropped from the story altogether. Like, she's not in it as much as she, I think, originally was supposed to be, which is interesting. So I can see they're going to be visiting that with Seika. Space Apple Company, we indeed. We oh, Sophie, that's kind of funny how that works out, eh? <laughs> just a few days apart. You wish you played on PC, yeah. Hopefully, I'm hoping you have um, PS4, or PS5. Are you, by chance, 
Desert Flame, Sophie? Am I getting that right? <laughs> Sorry, if not. Um, Sick is all right, and not my favorite, but better than Aaron. Better than Aaron or King Awad. Better than, oh, what is that? Hello. Um, oh, wait, did that actually? Well, what is that? Oh, God. I'm not gonna kill those Osirin. Keep your guard up. I'll agree oh God, better than Avad. Uh, I don't know if he's better than Aaron, though. Aaron's, Aaron's a boo. He's, he's a great dude. <laughs> Elon Musk okay. reference, a hundred percent. I would be surprised if in like, and they're not gonna do this, but in Horizon Three, they actually made like a direct one-to-one <laughs> -one yeah. character. Do want those things to call oh, us God. from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. And see, that's a good point. Okay. He probably is quite a bit older than Aloy. How old is Aaron supposed to be? Does anyone actually know? Um. Like I could see him being like thirty or something. I need to sneak up on it to take it out. In which case, yeah, the the, the age gap is see me. is a bit much. Check its patrol path. Varl, I like to think is the same age as Aloy, and that might be why I ship them so hard in Zero Dawn. I I just redid the Heart of the Nora on my Zero Dawn playthrough, and oh yeah, I was I was feeling it. <laughs> I was like, come on, why didn't this happen? Just have to wait for the right but. I like them as friends. It's okay. Aloy don't need no one. Oh, didn't work. Gotta try again. Time to throw. <laughs> Ramdi, I 100% agree. Oh god. This. It, it frustrates me so much to see all those. The hate that it got during those first couple months. Just like. People are just so ignorant to what the series is really about. And what it has been about the whole time. Like. Okay, I'm gonna try and just. Oh! Damn! Oh, it's Spider. actually it's gonna reset the game, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot this part. Yeah, I thought I'm able to get the slide sound strike, but I don't have my stealth armor on. Oh my god! I need to sneak Wheatley, up please to stop talking about spear. space. I miss Portal Two. Damn! Spot it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh, Sophie, okay, I, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. Your visual or virtual photography, also visual photography, is incredible. Um, yeah, some amazing shots. Everyone, go check out... I don't know your Twitter handle off the top of my head. Feel free to share it if you want, but you have some amazing shots on there. It is so cool to see what this community has come up with. It's just, it's so... I, I love that it, it, two years in, it's still going so strong. And with the PC release, it's just going to get even better now for a little while, which is so exciting. I haven't done photo mode stuff in a while. Um, but uh, we'll get back to it eventually. Let's, let's just throw the rock, yeah. How do you guys feel about them getting rid of the, the lure call? I'm okay with it. I thought it was a little bit overpowered in Zero Dawn. Aaron's weird way of hitting on her the moment they met. Yeah, that that is fair. I will give you that. He definitely gave the ick <laughs> at first. But now we love him. 10 points for the get your name reference. I will take those points. More of those machines ahead. The no pickup animation is still messing with me, I won't lie. Okay, let's see if we can sound strike all these guys. Oh my god, guys, we're in Forbidden West. We have melee combos again. That is so exciting. I miss them so much. Oh man. Google says Aaron is late 20s. Yeah, guilty to Aaron if anyway doesn't. Fair. I mean, ready whenever you want to strike. Come over here? No, I'll come over here then. Aaron is younger than Ursa and probably about the same age as Vod. Yeah, a Vod 2 is, I think, maybe like a little too old. Again, not that like you have to be the same age, of course, but. Oh, that's one way to do it. Good job, Aloy. A little bit of a frame rate stutter there. Hope you guys didn't notice. <laughs> and I hope the game's still chugging along okay on your end as well. Let me know if it's not. I do not have strike from above. Oh no, I do, but they have to be in stealth. Right, right. 
We could try it, but he's looking right at us, so maybe not. Oh, Burrow Wars is so cute. There's so much cuter than Watchers. There we go. Got it. Yeah. it wasn't expecting got that. Okay. I still got it. I have the main I noticed you have a new look these days. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. It better be. No, nah, I as Sorry soon as my whiskers offend you, anointed. Varl, I love you. As soon as someone makes a permanent beard varl mod, we're installing it. Like that's the first thing I'm doing it. It looks so good. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, thanks, Sophie. I appreciate that. It's 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 passable. I do it for thumbnails. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I'm gonna make my thumbnails for the Looks like the blights made it to the stream here. because usually I take them from the recorded video that I have. But for live streaming, you know, it hasn't happened yet, so that should be fun. <laughs> Aaron had more red flags than a Sophie. Oh my gosh. I mean, a little bit, yeah, at the start. But then you get to know him, and in my yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough, I haven't done his quest yet. They managed to get a couple. I like the the Varl side branch where you kind of take the revenge for the Nora, but the the Osram one isn't my like favorite. Not because of Aaron, I just don't love the, the quest that much. A lot of Glint talks, if you know what I mean, with Durval. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. I guess not. Careful, traps ahead. <gasps> oh no! Oh, might be able to disarm them. There. I love that balloon sound. Managed to salvage some supplies. Someone it's had fun recording that. And got more supplies. <laughs> Ends. Oh my gosh, that is funny. Do -do -do. Right, there's no one in here. We're just getting stuff for the Something frost sling, I think. While we're here. Or no, the traps. traps yeah, yeah. Our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I mean, Black Daisy's Varl is just a ten, like in or out of beard. I almost said drag. Uh, I don't know why. I just finished watching Drag Race last night, so. Okay. Should have what I need to craft. If a anyone, <laughs> not where I expected the stream to go, but if anyone watches Drag Race, it's been a fun season. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I actually have to? craft the, uh, the traps. Oh, yes, the better melee. It feels so good. Okay. Can I have, do I have skills yet? No, I don't. Okay. I'm trying to think of what my most important skills are for ultra hard starting off. And it, a couple melee combos, I think, for the embassy. But other than that, just all of the, the skills in the hunter tree. I want to get grapple strike as quickly as possible just because it's cool as heck. And it actually is powerful, even on ultra hard. Because you get that extra resonator blast if you time it right. Definitely better than DD2. I, yeah, I really need to learn a bit more about what's going on with that game. Uh, I've kind of just been ignoring it online, but I am aware of all the controversy. A lot of stuff with microtransactions, right? Horizon does not get the appreciation that it, it deserves, I think. And of course, there are a lot of us that do give it the appreciation it deserves, I'm aware of that, but like, I don't know, it's just it's just such a good game. Oh, it's not gonna insta-kill him. Oh, okay. No tip, maybe I should have crafted some traps. Oh, my reticle's on, I thought I turned that off. Well, it's a warm-up, we're gonna have it on <laughs> for now. Y'all, I'm used to playing Zero Dawn where I'm overpowered right now. This is this is scary. <laughs> Dang. Okay, maybe I should have crafted those traps. We're clear. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god. And look at that tiny little health bar. That that is terrifying. Let's not talk about Glen Talks. I will try and. Oh, well, they're okay in Forbidden West. I think we can talk about them in Forbidden West. Clamber Jaws, though. They all have their secrets, but every place is different. Okay, before I forget, because I said that we were going to do this, 
It must not have saved from the last time. Sorry for the quick little break here. HUD visibility custom. Oh, yeah, see, I have all toggled off. Okay, that should be, yeah. Now we're in pain mode, as it should. You know of Trixie and Katya. Those are two good ones to know about. I remember this room, it took me like 10 minutes to figure out where to go. It's right here, spoilers. Yep, it is. Ram, do you want to do uh, least played builds in Horizon Forbidden West? Like Trapper or Machine Tamer. Yeah, they did a good job in, in this game of making more explicit builds. I mean, the skill trees definitely help. I would love, as someone who loves RPGs, Horizon still isn't like the most rpg -y of games, I would say. Oh, even the that interaction marker's turned off. Okay, I'm going to have to... I'll do it later, but I don't want that turned off. That's a bit That's much. A big storm picking up out there. Um, I would love in the in the third game if they even went further with it. Where you really could specialize into like, so like you said, storms, trapper, machine tamer. In in this game, at the end of it, you tend to have like a little bit of everything. You were born to fix all that. Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. Oh, I do I have? Okay, I can see data, data points. Center. Thank God. We we'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Oh, this game is beautiful. You gotta keep you gotta keep a save with the storms active for photo mode. I wish there was just like a setting in here that you can just go like toggle storms on like oh wait I said no spoilers I'm really bad at this um spoiler Aloy tries to What's fix the here? world in this game Aloy I'm gonna stop now <laughs> oh yes zero dawn trade agreement this is where they talk about so zero dawn oh, sorry far zenith gives uh the homer archive which was kind of like I think a proto Apollo if I'm not wrong the ectogenic chambers including the one that Aloy is probably born from and supplementary ectogenesis Genesis research reports, and then Zero uh, Far Zenith gets the Apollo, sorry, Alpha build of Apollo, and that's it, right? Yeah. This data mentions the tech that they tried to steal. Gaia, yeah. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Looks like Let's we've got to climb up. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I've done this part in a long time. I don't recognize a lot of these. I'll tuck this away. Still, yeah, it later. um, it did get a lot of attention, which was fun. I definitely do plan on doing a Fallout stream at some point. Um, I think Fallout Four for me might be one of the most like. You okay? I don't know what the right word is, yeah. but like pivotal games for me. Way. I think it's what really solidified just like. I, I don't know, like my love for games and like me knowing that it's what I wanted to do. Place is really falling apart. And I'm lucky enough to be a game dev now. Well, it is a thousand years old. And I think I have like probably my most hours in a game ever on Fallout 4. Skyrim might come close. So I would love to do some streams for it. Looks like some kind of at some room. point. I Did I miss something here? Locked. No, okay. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Okay. I know I didn't say spoilers, but it's so fun listening to this part in particular now that we've played through the whole game because just just listen to the voice you should be able to recognize who that is if you've played this whole game terraforming system sophie glamour jones are my nemesis yeah they're empowered by there's something functions they're kind of cute when they're not trying to kill you the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts they recolored minerva Establish that. an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase two. The asset will seek no, no, no. cast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to Don't this be sneaky. data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could Oh, I'll see you later, Priscilla. Dawn Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great Apollo start to database. your week on Monday. Special Thanks so much. Taken not to alert Travis Tate. The expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. Yeah, you would know. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted. Oh, right, this is where Varl sees measures. her for the first time. A complete yeah. assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. 
Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, Coincidence? Mm? It's okay, bro. Maybe. We look alike because we're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? It took a whole game to explain it, Varo. We'll just give you the quick I version. I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's she looks so good, man. Why I was cast out. I've been I've been playing Zero Dawn again, like I said, and just coming back to this now, it's incredible. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but... Yes? She's not the goddess, Laurel. Sorry, I love this cutscene. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? I, I do wish... Um... They could have maybe spent a little bit more time and attention on Varl and him trying to reconcile his like beliefs, his culture, and what he's learning with the focus. Oh, I find, and maybe I'm just not remembering correctly, but I find that he kind of just picks up the focus and is okay with everything and moves on pretty quickly, like when they get to a certain location later on. I'm bad at this. Uh, I would have I would have liked a little bit more like not us. drama but a little bit more back and forth on him and him trying to maybe find like a middle ground between his Nora culture and like the truth that Aloy the truth that Aloy is presenting him I don't know yeah I think this is better off in your hands Sorry, I'm behind on chat uh, and even after sinking a thousand hours into BG3 Horizon's your favorite I would have to agree I don't know if Horizon's like my favorite game oh sorry what I need to happened? fix my interaction markers thanks for all but Baldur's oh, Gate is so good. I haven't played it in like two weeks and I really want to get back to it. You. I'm discovering that it's a hard game to like make videos for because there's a lot of just like downtime and talking to characters, which is great. But uh, yeah, I'm still trying to find like a, an easy or like a good medium for recording and like doing stuff off camera. And But the game is, is incredible. Like it still blows my mind how much effort was put into that. Down here. They just announced that they're not gonna be doing uh, a sequel Larian's not gonna do a sequel or any DLC, and I think it's because of Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, but let's not get into that, shall we? <laughs> um, it's just too bad. Imagine FPS replay as machines in a team versus team TF2 like setting. That would be kind of cool. I'm still holding out hope that the Horizon multiplayer is gonna be outside. awesome. Good. I don't know how we'd go about it. Maybe I'd make a Discord or something, but it'd be cool to organize some games with, with you guys. Oh my god, danger noodle. No thank you. Yeah, and trailer reactions are definitely more viewable. I've I've come to to realize. I'm thinking I might do reaction videos for the show. I've never done anything like that before, so I don't know how that's going to go. I did just order a new camera, which was a bit of an investment for me. It's something that I've been wanting for quite some time. I haven't gotten it set up quite yet because I need some new some more parts to get it going and a tripod. Uh, but stay tuned for better face quality. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm still very new to all this and I'm just trying to figure it out, but it should be fun to play around with it. Mike, you've had 10 playthroughs of Baldur's Gate. You need a break, more like a thousand hours in Fallout 4 too. Yeah, all just amazing games. Okay, so I don't have the icon on for it. So we'll just have to see visually you can do more damage like that. Yeah, getting brittle. Ah, oh, the animations for her shooting is so good. Oh, interesting. I can still. I did this. I did this by um by muscle memory, but I can still swipe it up to turn on the HUD. I thought that was only if you had it on dynamic, but eh, I'll take it. If we really need to see our health, that's what we'll do. 
So yeah, it, it is looking pretty good. I still gotta figure out how to upscale for my local monitor, but if this is what we have to do to make the stream look good, I'm okay with it. It's just rendering at a lower uh, resolution for me. As they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. I'm, I'm not used to auto pickup. It's so weird. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to turn these up. Interaction markers back on. It's fine. So, no shield wing. I almost just jumped off. You said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. I'd be so but down for like a comic or two of just Aloy doing some delves, trying to find more backups. And where she got her focuses. I'm still assuming it might be a cradle or like a the cradle, the Luthia 9. Maybe she just went back, but. Or maybe, like, it's canon that she just swiped a couple focuses while she was in there. HDD is so stiff. That, I think that's what it is. She, her, and, I mean, HDD still looks amazing, right? But she's, she just feels more fluid in this game. Everything just feels more natural. Definitely. I was grateful for this part of the explanation because I didn't play the first game. Oh, and it's got you. I'm very, I'm curious how your experience was if you haven't played the first game. Because there is a lot of baggage in terms of like story and things that happen that the game tries to catch you up on. But I'm glad that that explanation was helpful. That big metal thing looks like the ship Ooh, we I'm saw back. I'm definitely in. missing data points right now. Oopsies. The auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Machines torn right through them. This is a great spot for photo mode. Oh my god. Catch a break. Poor Vault, he has so much to take in, like, right, he's, he's, he's hiding it well, but I'm sure in his head he's just, like, screaming right now. For BGT, the live streams are the best. Yeah. I, I've been thinking Machines maybe Act 2 will try, ahead. especially now that I'm going to try and stream more regularly, we'll just do streams for it. Saves me the editing, even though I don't edit them, like, at all. <laughs> it still saves me some time. And it's fun to chat with you guys. Wait, can you not even see the tagging? Oh, oh, no, sweetie, we gotta, we gotta turn those back on. <laughs> I don't want it to be that difficult. Oh, boy. What? You did not see me. Maybe he just saw Varl? Maybe I can still sneak attack him? Maybe? Oh, my god. No. Oh! Wait, I didn't even get the prompt for stealth? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nuh uh. I might quickly turn that back on after this fight, y'all. That's a little too rough, if you ask me. Right, these are really good for knockdowns. Sophie, did they worry about the adaptation? Yeah. I, I don't know how it's gonna go. I would love an adaptation of the old world. I feel like that would be more doable, maybe. Because if they have to, if they're gonna do like Horizon, Horizon, they have to animate all the machines and make it look realistic. I don't know how that's gonna go. But they killed it with The Last of Us, so. But again, you need a lot less of CGI for The Last of Us. Horizon. Get out of here. We'll see. I know I've mentioned this before, but I remember there being rumors that they're filming in Toronto, which is where I am currently. So if I ever see someone with a, a really nice looking red wig on, I'm gonna like pop my head and be like, hey, do you need an extra body for a machine to throw around? <laughs> that could be me. Okay, sorry, really quick. We're gonna turn some of these back on. What is it, general? Navigation, enemies, player misc. Machine action prompts will be on, or dynamic, I guess. World markers, dynamic, grapple icons, always on. Combat ticker, interaction markers. Turn that back on? Let's see if that maybe makes it a bit better. I just, I want the prompt for sneak attack. That's, that's all I want. There's a ladder in the back. Are these gonna be always on now? I'll mess with it later, it's fine. Do -do -do -do. Kent, good luck with the rest of the stream. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate the support and hope to see you later on too. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Uh, right, ladder. Let's, let's just appreciate that. Oh, looks so good, okay. 
If you could choose where the next Horizon game is set. Ooh, I'm I'm thinking they're gonna do Ban Ur and uh, the Claim, which is maybe the Pacific Northwest so and uh, Sona was really okay with you not going back to the parts of Canada like Alberta, Banff, as all that. I would love chief, that. She understood why I was obligated to follow you, but as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Bring she back Sona. Pleased. I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Yeah, it'd be cool to, to set it in some places that I've lived, but the geography just isn't that interesting where I've lived. Uh, so I feel like the Pacific Northwest, Western Canada would be a good spot to set it. Larian's motto is you pay for our game once, you own it for life. I just, that's how games should be, if you ask me. Like, I get it for certain games with cosmetics, like that's fine, but yeah. The, the new trend with microtransactions is getting a little tiring. Thanks, Daniel. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm trying to, to spice things up a little bit. I got my stream deck. It's been fun to poke some buttons. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to try and get that camera set up, so. Ah, uh, Sophie, I wish I could just if send you my PC real quick. Awesome, we'll never get You'd make much better use of it than me. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. Three Slitherfangs at once? Time. We could do it. Let's do it. The only part you're confused for the longest time in Forbidden that? West was the timeline. How? Oh, yeah, no, that would be Just wait here. a little confusing hey, if you didn't boy. get all the exposition that you get in Zero Dawn, Trust for sure. Me. Is there a secret and tribe of people who make parkour paths and make everything yellow? Yes. It's, uh... I was gonna say Farzenith, but no. Um... Who is it? It's... Oh my gosh, what's his name? How am I forget? It's Bryn. Bryn from the Banuk, the uh, the guy who drank the machine oil. He's the one making them everywhere. Same people who painted all the climbable ledges. Yep. I've never actually played Uncharted. Ah, the tag arrows are back. Thank God. Once again, thank you guys for standing by while I try and figure out all my settings. It's going to be a lot smoother next time. I'm thinking next stream we'll do as much side content in the Daunt as possible. And then I might do a little bit off camera to finish it up. And then third stream we'll probably try and do the Embassy. I might not 100% everything on stream. I'm gonna definitely do some stuff off camera, but we're definitely gonna hit all the main quests, side quests that I really enjoy. What's a, let me know in the chat what part of the game, without like spoiling what happens, what quest or part of the game are you guys most looking forward to? Uh, on, on this re replay, but also just in general on replays. For me, it's definitely Sea of Sands. That's the highlight of this game for me. And I only played the ending of Burning Shores once, because for some reason I didn't make a save. Uh, and so I can't wait to do that again. Maybe I should stick to my spear for now. Save some ammo. Right, let's try and knock him down. Very good, good. Oh, I'm not used to being so weak. Okay. We're doing okay. We haven't died yet, so that's something. We'll have to get a death counter going. If you could be an extra in the Horizon show, who would you be, Black Daisies? Ooh. Okay, if it's if it's old world, I would want to be someone's assistant. Just like I, I would want to be Travis Tate's assistant, just constantly providing him with coffee. Like like just like nervous with the clipboard in the background, just like constantly giving him stuff and like nodding along as he says really unhinged things. Uh, if it's current world horizon, I would definitely want to be a Banuk shaman. I feel like that'd be cool. I'd love to see what they do for like makeup or special effects for the blue wires. I don't know, that'd be cool. And I would definitely want them to immediately kill me. I'd want them to just put like a thunder jaw in front of me in the show and then just get like smacked halfway across the west. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there it is. There, that ladder can get me up to the tower. Yeah, I'm from Toronto. I uh, I'm like I've been in Canada my whole life, but I moved to Toronto for school, uh, and I'm staying here now because I managed to snag employment. So, ah, yes, the music kicks in. There's this weird part when you're climbing this tower where it starts raining for like 30 seconds. Like, in every playthrough I've watched, like right now, I think. If I launch myself off that grapple point. I remember playing this for the first time and just hearing the soundtrack kick in, and I just knew, like, 
this game was going to be something else. They really upped the production values of it. It's everything. Yeah, right here. It starts raining or like being super cloudy and it goes away in like a minute. Huh? <laughs> what? Interstellar time traveling platforming enthusiasts. Yep. In every game, they're just here making sure that we know where to go. I want to go back to the sacred land so bad and I'm really hoping even if it's just for like a quick interlude like we get in this game when we go back to Meridian, if Horizon 3 starts with us going to the Sacred Lands with Zoe, I mean, who's Zoe? I don't know. Meeting Sona, that would just be really special, I think. Honest Cake should have a secondary channel called Honest Cupcake. I could do that. I've been thinking maybe I should uh, just keep this channel for Horizon content and have a second one for just like general gaming stuff. I don't know if I'll do that. Like my my. The, the main chunk of people who tune in, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, I always appreciate it, uh, are Horizon fans, I think, but I don't know. Oh, that grass just decided to pop in, thanks for thanks for stopping by, grass. Oh, this is fun. Slow-mo! Well... Where to go but up. I love this game. This place is barely holding together. Oh yeah, Anthony, I was thinking about that recently. Between Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, her voice gets so much lower. And I think you're right. I think it's because they knew they were gonna have to voice um, Beta. Looks like and so, clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, and I think I think I like this nearby. this tone for Aloy. It also kind of just reflects, I think she's like she's aged. A lot in the last six months, just between Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, just had to go through so much, just mentally and physically. So I feel like that reflects it a little bit. And I think they'll keep it like it is now for the third game, probably. But yeah, she definitely feels a lot younger in Zero Dawn as a result. Oh, my last rock. Oh my god. Ashley Birch is so amazing, though. Like, god, I wish she would have won some awards. Danger Noodle, Danger Noodle. The Slither Fang is really impressive from a design standpoint. I would hate to have been on that dev team. Oh my god. And figuring out that, those animations. My dream job would someday be work for Gorilla, but honestly, I don't think I'm good enough to work at Gorilla. <laughs> uh... Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can stealth them all. That'll make things a lot easier. Oh, nope, nope. Let's wait for him to come by. Alternative for microtransactions, make an in-game currency that you can earn through challenges and cannot be trans... Yeah, I, that's totally fine. I mean, they, they kind of do that here with um, with the arena, right? That's I'm totally, totally okay with it. Even I played Fallout 76 for a long time, and the fact that you could earn their microtransaction currency atoms in-game by doing challenges is pretty cool. And like, you could still buy some, sure. But the fact that it was only for cosmetics, like, I think that's okay. Oh, right, I can't insta-kill these guys. That's fine. I won't lie, I had a pretty, oh God. I had a pretty significant Fortnite stint. It was my first ever like online multi, uh, multiplayer FPS. And I do have the Aloy skin. <laughs> I did spend some money on V-Bucks for a while, but I played it enough that I felt okay about it. If anyone's Brandon Sanderson fan, uh, I bought the Kelsier skin as well, which is really cool. I think Brandon said that one of his close friends actually works on Fortnite, and that's how they were able to get that in there. Oh, in Zero Dawn, they immediately get up if you sneak attack or critical strike them, so. Interesting that it didn't. Oh, I thought he was dead. Another thing to remember, in Zero Dawn you can just quick fire, but in Forbidden West it actually lowers the damage of the bow, so... Okay. Wasn't too too bad. Could have been worse, could have been better. Yes, Travis's assistant black things. That would be fun. I don't know, I think so. Uh, bringing Shore is my favorite part of Horizon Forbidden West due to Aoi's personality. Yeah, I, I agree on that part at least. I... Uh, to, to quote 
Kirsty. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Kirsty. She's great if you've not checked her channel out. Um, I think she once said, for, uh, Burning Shores just happened for her. And I kind of agree with that. I don't know, it doesn't have the same impact on me that Frozen Wilds did. And I don't know why, because it really was spectacular. And I think the Burning Shores map is the best map uh, environment to explore that Grill's ever put together. Um, they have a lot of quests and things that trigger by you just stumbling upon them, which I love in games. And I is one of my critiques with, not critique, but it's something that I didn't love about Horizon when I first started playing it. Like I, I came from playing Skyrim, and so I'm used to just kind of going out for a walk and exploring and discovering things to do. And Horizon is just not a game like that. Horizon, you get quests and settlements, you go and do the quests and you come back, which is totally fine. But I really like that in Burning Shores, there were things like the Stormbird, um, Gildan's whole quest, where you kind of had to like explore to find them. And so I, I just, there's something about Burning Shores, maybe it was the story, maybe it was the characters, that it just didn't like settle into my soul in the same way that, uh, that Frozen Wilds did. But I still love it. Feels like the designers didn't agree on what the weather would be like at the location, yeah. It was just a very random, maybe it was supposed to represent the fact that like, yeah, we're going over here, the fact that the storm is there and like things are wonky, I don't know. Truman Show style weather, I've never actually seen the Truman Show, but hey. I do know what happens. Crush those machines down below. Will you play Portal Revolution? Eddie, please remind me what that is. I feel like I've heard of it. I am ashamed as a Portal fan to not know what that is immediately. Oh, Sophie, I know, with Lance, I, I don't know what's gonna happen, like, I'm I'm so worried they're gonna do something weird, either with AI or recasting. I, I would be okay with recasting, but they have to pick someone up for the challenge, like, I don't know. Caught up in those cables. It's just, it just makes me so sad that we're probably we're not going to see to disconnect them. the story as it was meant to be, and if, if, if they do present that exact same story with a new voice actor, it won't be the same, it won't be Lance. Um... But, and of course, I'm, like, it's just so sad for all of Lance's family and friends, like the people who worked with him. It's just so heartbreaking. It's, but I don't know what they're going to do. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I would not want to be a producer right now. Oh, the soundtrack is so good. Oh my God, this song is amazing. And the way that this song comes back whenever she's climbing. There's even kind of like a remixed version of this in Burning Shores. It's not quite a remix, but there's some uh, modus that come back, definitely, when she's climbing. She did voice Tiny Tina. I haven't played uh, Border Borderlands yet, uh, but my friend is a big fan of it, and I know that Ashley Birch did that. Not a lot, not a lot of quests in Burning Shores. That's honestly, that's so true. There was like, what, three side quests? You can tell that they put a lot of the, the budget into the main quest. The main quest is really good. Well, the end of it is. The middle parts can be a bit hit and miss. Pangeo was fun, I'll say that. Should be the right spot. Sounds good, Black Daisies. Enjoy dinner, and thanks so much for stopping by. And yeah, enjoy Horizons Forbidden West. I'm gonna have a blast with this on PC. That connector's holding the cables together. Girl, how are you alive? <laughs> I forgot. They, they made the fall damage so much more forgiving in this game. Um, I've played Forbidden West before. I know what you're supposed to do in this tutorial area. She definitely didn't just mention the connector that I was supposed to shoot. You all saw nothing. <laughs> Welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. Coffee, sir? Coffee? <laughs> About the bow mechanics, quick draw, triple arrow, I like that they made them more realistic. Of course, it does less damage. I agree. I kind of... I don't dislike, but it feels weird that once you get double notch and triple notch, it almost feels like you have to be doing that to, like, be doing... to scale your damage with the more tough machines. I like how it's implemented in Forbidden West. The, the weapon um, techniques in general were really well done. It's something that I really missed when playing through Zero Dawn. Oops. Don't mind that random bush. Canada is a fine place, but I thoroughly dislike the four season aspect of it. Yeah, so like I said, I just got home, got back from home for a week, and it was so cold. I am so happy to be 
a bit more warm now. And I love winter, I love the cold, but like, oof. Was not ready for that. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with okay. killer machines waiting down below. Look at how she climbs these three handholds. I've can you tell I've played this game a lot or watched a lot of playthroughs. Look at what she does here. No. No. No! <laughs> As someone who I, I've I've been rock climbing pretty regularly recently. Oh my god. Aloy. What? <laughs> I love her. I think the better motion capture and facial animations in Burning Shores makes everything look so much real. They, yeah, I mean, Forbidden West already improved, like, tenfold, right? But in Burning Shores, it was even next level. Like, that one cutscene on the beach with Seika, it's like you're watching a live-action movie. Also, question for chat, all of my lore nerds, where the heck are we? Um, <laughs> I'm assuming this is the ocean, or it's a really big lake somewhere. I've heard people mention New Mexico, even like Florida. I doubt it's Florida. They get back to Meridian pretty quickly, right? Where the heck are we? I would love for Gorilla to give like a straight answer on that. And honestly, at the end of the day, if they just made this area without giving it too much thought, I'm like I respect that, but I don't know. I'd love to know. It it feels like the sun dome. This, this looks like the jewel a little bit. Orange Ninja, hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. Portal there. Revolution is a high-quality Portal mod released recently. Oh, I'll have to check it out. I haven't played Portal in a long time. I've been thinking about um, the other connector. doing a stream and just playing through the whole game in one sitting. This is a fun cutscene. Die, snakes! Ooh, that felt good. <laughs> You wish you had a glider right about now. It is my headcanon that she picked up old gold swears from all the data points. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. This is just... This just takes me back to the launch deck. She's like... I was so, so giddy on the inside. Like, this is just incredible. Alright, let's do it, guys. I don't know how this is gonna go. It shouldn't be too bad. And I have so much respect for, for Gorilla throwing this at us this early on the game. They do a lot of hand-holding in Horizon, I will say, especially with puzzles, but like, they really let us have it with the Slipper Fang. And I love it. Maybe we should probably scan him. Okay, where's that weak spot? Oh my god, my brain is like, get the Earth Grinders, we need them for upgrades. Ah, one of the most annoying upgrade resources to get in this game, because they fly everywhere. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that experience. So. Uh, we could try freezing him, but I... The threshold is too high on Ultra Hard. Oh, he's down, he's down. Come on, show me that. Okay, it's close, it's close. Oh, did you catch me there doing my Horizons or Dawn jumps? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to slow time down. Guilty. I think in Forbidden West it slows it for the first jump, but then it, it doesn't. Let's go for the plasma on the side. Oh, I can't aim. The drawing animation. Oh, this little thing's so cool. I wish they did this, like, hugging thing when you encounter them in the wild. I think the one in Burning Shores might. If I'm not wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's such a cool attack. Oh my god. Slither things, y'all. It's fine to hit them wherever when they're uh, full of acid. The armor doesn't count, but now we gotta go back to the loot spots. Okay. Let's 
pick up the stuff while we're here. Um, should we try freezing it? I don't have that much chill water. No, I think this is still the way to go. Sorry, my aim is uh, a little out of practice. But also, this bow sucks. <laughs> I'm not that sorry. Oh, you can see the uh, the blaster in the back there already. That will be used very shortly. I got the shield thing off. Trying to get that earth blaster. Plasma off. Ah. Again, maybe I should just draw like a sharpie mark on the screen to act as a reticle. You guys would have no idea. <laughs> Spoiler, I don't have that, and that's why I can't aim right now. Can I hit that? I'm gonna pick that up. Heck yeah, we got an Earth Blaster, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm falling behind on chat. Trying not to die. Okay, couple good shots. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Gotta be close. Let's try, let's try the, the sling. I'm curious to see how many it's gonna take. Oh, there you go. Oh. Concrete beach party. <laughs> Tear off parts. The Shredder Gauntlets are amazing. Oh god, I could very well die here. My health is real bad. Now, one sad thing about going from uh, Zero Dawn to Finn West is the nerfed heavy weapons. They suck in this game. But that's okay. Should be like one more, I think. Maybe? This one I already used, right? Oh, there's one right there. Let's grab that one. No. Bad snake. Bad danger noodle. Oh, we did it. Okay. It's dead. It's dead. Finally. Finally. That did take <laughs> a bit of time. Oh my gosh. What's our bow doing right now? Uh, 15 damage. Oh the data center my gosh. Be straight ahead. I guess we're all gonna have to find another way there. Ride the Glint Hawks and bomb our enemies with frost and fire. Uh, I'm curious to see if they add any more flying mounts in Horizon 3 and what they're gonna do with flying mounts, period. Because it's hard to design an open world uh, with like a progression and everything if you just have a flying mount from the start. So I'm assuming it's gonna be locked to near the end of the game. Which is lame, but like I get it. But uh, it might prove me wrong. Orange Ninja, good to be back. Good to have you back. I missed almost everything the last month. Been a lot going on. That is totally fair. Life is so busy, and uh, I hope everything's going well. Otherwise, I didn't know who clicked on the hearts to me, but yes, let's go. I can see them. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad we didn't die. The death counter is still at zero, which is shocking to be honest but you know what that means we get to go to meridian all right let's climb up 
The song playing right now is called The Embers in Our Wake. I remember that because of these flames, and it's one of my favorite exploration tracks on the soundtrack. The soundtrack for Forbidden West is something else, guys. Like, I love the Zero Dawn one too, but I, the Forbidden West one? Oh. Gaia. Fix the system, heal the blight. Alexa brought a lot to the, the sonic universe of Horizon. Okay. I should find a server. I'm so silly. Alright, like I said, I want to be Travis's assistant. When he, he comes up on the screen here, imagine me right behind him with like my Starbucks just being like... Coffee? What to do? Oh, isn't this... Yeah, he's the, the spokesman and they just cut him out because they didn't have enough room. Oh god, Far Zenith, you suck. <laughs> he's been here. Oh, I do feel bad for Aelia though, like she's, she's just going through it right now, guys. I mean, I, I know you all know, but... Reach for the stars. Sounds good, Eddie. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you later and have a good rest. Rip, danger noodle. It's here. Oh, she must just that, that like spike of excitement that she must feel. As soon as the 6.9 came up, I was like, no, no, something's wrong. <laughs> oh no. Hi. this we got here? A Farzian's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Hiding. The vipers. I feel bad for Illyas from hiding. Hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. Thou shalt not steal a super advanced terraforming system. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. Period. But it's the That's the T, sis. Bombs, so good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. I want to do it, but like, is this inappropriate for me to do on stream? I don't know. What's my... Where do I stop myself? I've let out some F-bombs on stream, I think. I'm a stressed gamer. It happens. Aloy? The goddess. No. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. People get upset at Aloy at the start of the game, but this this is just what makes her a character. Like, this is such a reasonable reaction from her, given what... Did you see what she just had to kill? Like, and for it to be all for nothing, basically? Like, I, I really like what they did with Aloy in this game. The, the, the two things, her learning to accept help, but also her learning to step aside from Elizabeth's shadow was so masterfully it. done in this game. It's such a subtle arc, oh. but it's chef's kiss. I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the And Varl is just the best person ever about it. It's, oh. um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching, and fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me. Do it, middle fingers. Nobody else. I'll do my fourth finger. The salute. Hold on. F you, Ted Vero. Four. Great Meridian, subreddit. You said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against the Hades. The lance. Sure, mm -hmm. but Spy Master Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... 
I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Thank God for Varl. Varl just saved the Earth, honestly. Like, I've got a better <laughs> idea. I, I love I love those two together. Like I would I would love for just like a comic or like a mini game or something of them just exploring, hanging out and hunting together. I, I just there's not enough of that. Like them and Aaron, like that that trio. Meridian, it's good to be back. I'd love I, I hope there's a mod that comes out that just lets us revisit this area now and then. She's come back. Especially for photo mode. us the savior of meridian has returned oh you earned this welcome flowers didn't load in not yet in the name of the sun king of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion make way i hope the uh the stream's still looking okay on your guys' Brian, end you weren't here for the disaster that was the first 10 minutes of the stream two of us I hope it's uh, doing better now. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. Orange Ninja, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Canadian, A. Eh? I do say A a lot, like, non-ironically. <laughs> I catch myself and I'm like, oh, I'm just feeding into it, and that's okay. You saved us all to be sure, eh? but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. Oh, look at the city, guys. I just I want to go so bad. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise... Haven't heard any box sounds yet. Panic. Good to know, good to know. Castro Manny, hey, sorry, I didn't notice your comment, um, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. You like Zero Dawn soundtrack more, especially the background music when roaming around. It sounds much more emotional and matches the sad, bittersweet vibe of the world. That is very true. Like, sonically, the two soundtracks are One very different. For Forbidden West is a lot more, like, bombastic, everywhere. right? And a lot of more just, From like, in-your-face the exploration the themes and the instrumentation. And Zero the Dawn's reflection. definitely a lot more calm and, like you said, reflective, sad. Base. From that. I agree from that standpoint. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages for the terror. When I listen to, to them just on their own, like on Spotify when I'm working, I think that's why I prefer Forbidden West a bit more. Sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. But yeah, I love I love both. Let us know what you find. If you guys have a favorite uh track in either of the game soundtracks, please let me know. Uh, and if you don't know the name of it, just like right when it plays because I love them using these games and uh love to hear what you guys here, like too. Sister. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Oi. carcasses. Remnants from the battle of the Alight. Yep. And the theme Radiant the seems playing in the background. Controlled. It's wonderful. But we pushed through. And my soul consists of 40% swearing, 10% grief, and 50% caffeine. That, yeah, I feel you. Uh, is that a statue of me? That's. Is that the the lance, or is that look more like the spear that they give her? I can't tell. It's probably the lance. Ooh, textures are looking a little, a little funny. By the statue. It feels wrong. Especially my job's only half done. Oh, Aloy, just take the compliment, girl. You saved everyone. But, again, I get it. Oh, the jewel. I forget the name of that mesa, but it has a name. That's where the, the whole hillside here exploded, right? And that's what let the machines down? Which one was it? Was it? I wonder how much of a one to one this is, if at all. Probably not, but. How the Deathbringer gets uh, covered in just a few months? Wait, which Deathbringer? 
Oh, yeah. Wait, where is the Deathbringer? <laughs> I guess they, they hauled it out. That's a good point. That loot, I, I don't care that much. Let's just go do the quest. <laughs> I'll probably still go through all the dialogue. This part's fun. I hope you guys don't mind. Maybe I'll skip some of it. If Horizon 3 is set in Canada, are there locations that you 100% want to see in the game? Banff? Banff is my favorite place in the world. Uh, so I would love to go back there. And I have a sneaking suspicion that Banff is actually Banur. And that's where, like, the Conclave is. The Banuk. If I'm right about that, I said it here. I mean, I've said it before, but... I stand by it. Um, there is there is an interview that happened, and again, I mentioned this before, so sorry for repeating myself, but there's an interview that happened with the Horizon dev or designer, and the interviewer was from Toronto, and they said that, and the designer or the dev said, oh yeah, there's something weird happening in, around Toronto, that area in the game. Something was transmitted um, from It's more balmy where. than it should be, or something like that, so I I have to find a way up there. something weird with the climate's happening there, and that makes me think that they've given some thought to it, so I would love for there to be an East Coast horizon game like new york toronto that area but it, the only thing about that is other than the great lakes there isn't a ton of like Maybe geographic diversity which is a hallmark of the series so i don't know what they would do with that ah. still the best hair physics in gaming sometimes it's a bit funky but it's so impressive i agree mm. this is where the game teaches you to jump backwards i believe uh but can it teach me to look around enough yep here we go Thank God for the the uh, the vaulting they implemented in Forbidden West as well. It's incredible, and I miss it in Zero Dawn. Wandering the sacred lands when it's raining is early evening is my fate. Yeah, it's so pretty. The sacred land tracks also. Oh my God, so nostalgic for me. Playing through it again in Zero Dawn, like it brought me back to when I was in high school doing like university applications and stuff. And like, I would just listen to that soundtrack for hours on end while I was working. Up there now. Oh, yeah, when, when we started climbing the spire and then when we went inside of it, I was losing my thing. Minerva is my favorite subfunction. It transmitted something through the spire. Did he save it? Daniel, I think it was you who said it earlier, but um, Minerva deserved better. She should have been in the game more. I agree. If I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. She's my fave. Hopefully the transmission node at the top will tell me. Uh, looks like this. Oh, the Deathbringer is still there? I'll I'll go find it. Um, remind me to. DD2 is being praised for highest customization possible. Let's see. Why does it matter if the model looks like a plastic doll DJ shot? <laughs> okay, I really need to check that out. Access lift activated. Engaging maintenance configuration. Oh yeah, it's note that it's raining. Thank God it's raining, because otherwise the Karja would all lose their religion immediately. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. Yeah. Wolfie, Banff. Damn right. Good to see you here, by the way. <laughs> oh, this was so cool. I was losing my mind. I was like, what? The spire has an elevator? <laughs> who could who would have thought? What the heck? I actually would say that the Frozen Wilds is set in the Grand Tet and Yellowstone. Yeah, 100%. And we know that Bandur is like directly north of that. And so if you keep going north, it's bad. And like Calgary is nearby, so you can still have that cityscape. We want to North Korea, why not? I mean, there's still a part of me that believes we could go to the Quen homeland as part of the game or a DLC. Well, I would Lord. prefer DLC. Hi, Lance. I oh, finally figured it out. This is so bittersweet, isn't it? To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. Also, the mocap in this cutscene. There was a behind the scenes so that they did with Ashley Birch. Reason. It's just, it looks so good. You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. And like, I kinda agree with Silence a little bit. But why don't one of those Gaia back like, and having such a hard time yeah. It's a good thing he did it, right? Why didn't like, you just tell me? For those of you who know what happens, it's a good thing he did it. My own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. Savage. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, 
Now, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Roll credits. Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Ooh. Girl. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, Aloy. You'll have your chance to get back at him. Ah, oh, she's... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too... What's the button to take a photo here? On the... There we go. Okay. She's so pretty. No choice. There's no other choice. But why does it open like that? For maintenance mode, I gotta ask. Better let Varl and Marad know what I found. Oh yeah, Mike, Vancouver would be a pretty good location. I have yet to go to Vancouver, which is... I, I need to go. Soundtrack for Horizon Zero Dawn. Kunabas Solo. Yes, uh, that's a good one. I know which one you're talking about. All the light reaches. All of the light reaches. Is that the one that's like seven minutes and it's just really like calm and relaxing? I do love that one. Rolled on her shoulders. Above and below. Above and below is so fun. I love that song so much. I wish it played for longer in the game. Excited and it transformed. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, I mean like that. Frozen Wilds is Tetan and Yellowstone, yeah. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said... Unless you're Tamana. <laughs> A fragile peace has been negotiated. Well, she wasn't allowed, I Indeed, guess, but... the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Good question, Daniel. You're up in Horizon. They office. must have had a cradle or two, so... The Tanakh might grant right of passage. Tanakh. Instead of hunting you... The pronunciation is very inconsistent. Great, just what I need. More killers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All so, hail. All hail. Father of Odd. Aloy, it's good. No, to that see was you. weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> you left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of his arms. Of I feel for his arms. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Avad, this is all very kind, but I. No, you're gonna you're gonna take the Vanessa. tiara and the spear. Quick, hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? I like the detail of the badges on his outfit because he is a very um, decorated soldier with the Karja. The spear looks so good. I love the gold accents. I've missed it. Bit of a frame rate drop. Sorry about that. It seems like it's happening a lot Try in the cutscenes. The sad thing is, is, as of now, I need to tweak the settings, but as of now, the game runs better on my PlayStation than the PC. <laughs> oh, on behalf well. of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal Implementing grant. Beta in Forbidden West was the best idea the devs had. It was great for her arc, and I mean, I love her as a character as well. Yeah. The, the, lean, the hard lean into sci-fi took me a long time to, to get used to, but now that I know like that it's Perhaps what to like expect, to I guess, time with your I love it. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Zero Dawn just felt very grounded, even though it was like, I mean, God, you're fighting robot dinosaurs. It still felt like pretty grounded. And so when they threw in all the stuff that we encounter in Forbidden West, <laughs> I need to attach the master a bit odd. To my new spear. Oh yeah, where's the death ring? Here I, can use. I also, I want to see if we can see, what's the name of the, the town by the lake? Um, I haven't gone back to it in my Zero Dawn playthrough yet, which is crazy. Um, oh gosh, the one that's on the we defeated. Lake Powell. I cannot remember. Oh wow, Daniel, you're right. How did she it get covered already so much? Maybe they've been throwing dirt on it. I don't know. The orb up here and then kind of bury it. Me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. I want to get a good view. What? So 
Might be a fool's errand. I'd love to see New York City and Horizon. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, the cityscape alone is just... Most lacking landscape, but the city... Yeah, overgrown skyscrapers. Yeah, but what we got with LA just shows, like, I... Was amazing. The whole map is that kind of, like, destroyed cityscape. And so in New York, it would just be that, but, like, times ten. So that city's, like, right there, I think, behind Meridian. I cannot remember the name, but... Mother of All and Trinity are my favorites and yeah, yeah, for sure. I actually don't listen to Mother of All too often. I like the end bit when Gaia like comes on. Uh, okay, maybe I should just make this a spoiler podcast. I think we're okay with that. Um, but Trinity is really beautiful. Luthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging. Daniel agreed. Avad is. Fanasha, stop. She's here now. Anyway, so she, definitely for is. the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had no Huntress, please. You don't Minash is so hot. Oh my god, us. like, come on. You saved our butts. I ship them too. God go, damn it. Go with our blessing, always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants. Rising here, New York would probably still have a traffic problem. Advisor. That means people All the scrappers just honking in traffic. Talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And They're pretty cute how about together. You, I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part. Oh yeah, Daniel, the sleeves are a little bit weird. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. <laughs> oh, doesn't she say something like super unhinged? I never pictured you as a nanny. Let's, let's wait for it. Adaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh. You have no idea. Uh, huh? Oh dear. Uh, uh, we were talking about Edaman? Uh, yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. God. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Fair enough. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers. Well, they're not to completely wiped out yet. Avad wink, offered wink. amnesty to all who were forced to serve the shadow, so the commoners cleaned out the citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. Oh. <laughs> They are pretty cute. Well, I, I know, I know. This part is so yeah. awkward, yeah. Go away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Yeah, Sophie, I think I think you're referring to exact same thought process with like the sci-fi elements. It, it took a while, and sometimes like. Especially coming back from Zero Dawn, like, I miss that setting and, like, not the simplicity of it, but, like, I don't know, there's just... Forbidden West takes a hard left turn, and that's okay. I really enjoy it. Just just took a minute. And I really miss the Karja. Oh, man. There's a couple that you can see in uh, in the West. And I like that there's a, a royal version of the, uh, the Karja guards. I didn't notice that before. I must have, but, um, yeah, I like that outfit. It's cool. Okay. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Seeing LAX in that yes. state was very interesting, yeah. Itaman, what do you say? Oh. My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering Aww. my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. He's so much happier. Did I say right? <laughs> you said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Thank God she's Listen, nice to the kid, will you right? Teach me to shoot like a real machine hunter? <laughs> it's a man. 
I, Most people in this universe are hot. I agree. I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, <laughs> I could give you a few tips. I was gonna be like, chat, what's the hottest yeah. machine? You do not have to answer that. We owe you um, our lives, champion. I guess the we fire claw just because of like the thermal like temperature. Them. Watch out for thunder jaws, It has champion. lava in it? Oh my god. Let's go talk to Loverboy Avod. Indeed. The sculptor has once that parasol probably costs more than my whole existence, and that's okay. Little Huntress. Oh, Vanasha. She's a great side character. I'd love to see her come back. Bigger, twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, he knows her so well. Uh, I, d I do like Avad, but eh, it's a little, uh... I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Do it with me now. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger, but it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. Is this all you have to do to become royalty? Because well, already told you. My arms already hurt. After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father... Yeah, really Orange Ninja. Um, I hope you guys don't mind me talking over this. We, we, we've all seen this. Uh, I think main series should be in North America, but I would love for other games to explore different parts of it. I think the multiplayer will probably still be in North America because I think they want to have, like, the tribes that we know of in the multiplayer. But... to talk to us again after that was... tricky. A spin-off in the Quen homeland where, like, you're playing as a Quen would be really cool, actually. I, I think I'd prefer that over Aloy going there, because Aloy's got to deal with enough here. But, like, How did you get the Tanakh? They set it up well, so. The, war. the same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions. And the gift seemed to have eased the tension. Yeah, Sophie, it feels like home. That is a really good way to put it with Zero Dawn. The nostalgia the is just... So far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Especially the, the sacred land and the embrace. It's just... It's where it all started and it's so special. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Oh, she blushed. The delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. His eyes are Nothing really like in his ilk. golden. He joined the Western expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. I've been there. And has been held ever since. I, I've been working on, I, I, I mentioned it before, but I went to Vegas recently and Cinnabar Sands, which in real life is um, Valley of Fire. And I've been trying to put a video together, but I wasn't feeling it. Your cousin, for sure. footage wasn't great. <laughs> How long has he been at Tanakh? Beautiful, Captain? beautiful area, though. Honestly, if you guys ever go to Vegas, like, sure, Vegas is cool and flashy, but like, there's some well. wonderful national parks. Or, but they might be state parks, that I don't know how it works. For its um, around, like, Red Rocks Canyon, how did he Valley of Fire. Uh, I went... Grand Canyon, of course, too. I haven't been there yet, but I check it out. It's amazing. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, Vashav is such a cool guy. Uh, I'm glad we got like a lot of time with him with the dialogue, but then after that, sad. Edmund looks happy. And you got him out of some <laughs> Daniel Fireclaw, you know why. Has, yeah. <laughs> He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well, 
I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps that look she gives him. Noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. He gets he would get steamrolled by a watcher in like two seconds. I uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Uh since you left, I've thought of little else. Oh this god. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. Part of me can't fault him. I've had crushes. I mean, back, but I need to know when your mission is over. Aloy is worth crushing on. I would also be like, could you just Stay. be with me forever, Aloy? But long okay. enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. It's a bit much, though. Part of me wants to do the "Are you kidding?" option just as a joke, but like, I like Avad, so we're gonna we're gonna give him. We're gonna let him down easy. I do hope to it's see just a tad needy. Let's never down about. I agree. And oh. you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. Her eyes match the gold on the tiara. That's kind of cool. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I. I wouldn't know where to begin. Well. If that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. I do like Meridian Don't as like a, a canon I resting place. Success. Sorry, I shouldn't say resting place. Uh, like a, a place for Aloy to settle down. I think that makes sense for her character, but I don't, I don't think she would go back to the sacred land. I don't know. There's too much baggage there for her. Um, ah, 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 who knows? What if there's a Dr. Sobek clone on every continent well, just running around and stressing about the state of the world? Nice to catch up. Oh, that would be really funny. Oh, I didn't do the spear, did I? Yeah. Is this the... Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't have the uh, the override on it yet. Look at that. It's kind of funny. She's holding it a little bit more like a, a sword right now. Cool little detail. Okay, let's go put that on. What time is it? We'll probably stream for another... I gotta go at five my time, so another 40 minutes. We'll get a little bit of time in the daunt. We'll do some combat, see how bad I do in uh, Ultra Heart. And yeah, there it is. I hope all is well with you. Ah, yes, the resonator. I've missed it. Should help in a fight. So I imagine that means you might Whoa. be from the UK. We aren't that interesting. <laughs> no, that'd be cool. I'd love to visit Europe at some point. I have not left this continent. I've never even seen the ocean. Where am I going again? Over here. Aloy, are you finished with your friends? Or headquarters of various time? Aloy clones. <laughs> Turn it into a telenovela. Would that is that all the all the Aloys ends? I better get going. And Orange Ninja, I've been wanting to do that so bad. Do like a Horizon road trip. From the Tanakh, if you get to do it, said. like best of luck. Where that sounds exactly amazing. This embassy going to be Take pictures. <laughs> past the dawn, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple fortnight? of days hard riding should get us there. When we drop him. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. Oh, you All sneaky. Right. You're going to run away. I would stream Fortnite, but I don't want you guys to all see how bad I am at gaming. I think this song is called Alone Again, and it has like 40 seconds of the original Meridian theme, and I love it so much. Why couldn't we get more? 
Oh, Aloy, don't you realize how good Varl is? Just appreciate him. Please bring him with you. Again, I'm not criticizing her too much, I understand. But, sad. Is it in the flood? Oh my gosh! Y'all, I... When I first put out my reaction videos, it was like 2 a.m. and I'm like, I'm just gonna make a three minute clip of me reacting to this song. Because I thought it was pretty fun. And I put it on my channel, and it's now my most viewed video. <laughs> and it was just me calling out locations in the game. <laughs> That's all I did, but... This is so special. I love this song so much. And the little tour of the Zero Dawn map that they do is just breathtaking for one. Oh. And they render this real time, which means they have parts of this map in the game. Gorilla, let us go. And the fact that they even have the double Thunderjaw sight, like that is so specific. Oh. Cauldron Zeta, I think, the one with the Thunderjaw in it. It's just, oh my god, I love this world so much. The, the path she's taking right now doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. I'm trying so hard not to like sing along because I'm on live stream right now and no one wants that. But I usually sing along to this song, I won't lie. I started learning on, on guitar, but I didn't get very far. It's so nice to see Sunfall in the hands of regular cards as well. Canyon, I believe it's called. And that's how far you can get in the base game. So this this shot right here is really like, okay, this is it, we're going. with her hand. I assume she has one of the blue wires. Oh man, I, I get chills to this day. I really do. And the logo hits. It's just like the best. Oh, I have chills. The best opening. Ever. Um, I want them to do something like this again for Horizon 3, but like I, I also don't because I, I feel like they just would fail at recapturing the beauty that is this sequence. Oh my god. Okay, sorry, I, I kind of blacked out there for a second. Right, you haven't seen the mountains. I hope you see the mountains at some point, Daniel. They, I want to just live on a mountain now. Over the pond. I would, I would love to. It's, it's on my bucket list, Sophie. I, I gotta do it soon. But not today. Not. Yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. Ooh. The, the grazers are really sparkling down I there. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the old Ends you were tearing up and you hadn't even played the first game. That's how good it is. Look. And think this song makes you cry from over excess of emotions. 100%. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Karn. We stand Karn. He's a great, great Osram dude. Orange, it's not gonna be a road trip, it's gonna be a walk. Though, that is amazing. Anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I support that. I really want to do like a long just hike. Like a week long kind of like That sounds amazing. If you can pull that off. I see smoke. Vlog it, take pictures, I want to watch. 
kidding. But... Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. Also, really quick, uh, she does a lot of unique poses during this part uh, on as she's leaning against the lift, and it's great for photo mode. Uh, like, I'm not going to spend a lot of time actually doing it, but like, hot damn. As for the quiet, I love how well, her hair kind of flies in the wind. There's a work stoppage and... in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of. What's that big trail? Bristle it's like the Pacific Northwest Trail or something, and it's a really Strange big established. Is, they're not native group to the of, um, Hiking Just routes. Showed up. I'd love to do all that of a sudden. Point. No hunters to kill them. Well, we've got hunters. Just none that want to cross Alvent. Boss of chain scrape. He is self appointed oh, Some green shine, right? Yep. Stuff, yep. Which was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. Ah, I love how she just. Ah, oh, she's so cool. <laughs> Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. We cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Yeah, Anthony, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that the, the game was able to do that for you. Um, it really is something special, and I hope you're doing a bit better. But uh, yeah, it, this game is super special. If you don't do as I say immediately. The Sun King himself. And you played on the piano? That's awesome. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night. I play piano, but I haven't had one for a couple of years. Attack, I might have died. I have like a little keyboard, oh, but it doesn't. Me, it's not very good. Me, transport, but not this. This. What is? What? This oh. Nora girl. This savage. He's so upsetting. Besides He's so Galloway. upsetting. <laughs> what is? That's Aloy. Studious what is? Aloy. You know, savior of Meridian. This cutscene is amazing. Really? <laughs> well, really? <laughs> that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baronlight. Move out of the way, I Grandpa. So did you. Well, not with the valley infested. I do feel bad for what happens, but like he's. <laughs> and so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. Who See? wrote that scripture? That's. Scripture. Oh yeah, orange is blaze. Light. Orange is blaze. Blaze when is orange. The of the vanguard tells me Weird. the is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. She's so funny. What is? Comedic Studious. queen. What is? Studious. And well, another great so showcase for the mocap and the improved cinematics. Clear the way. And so at David. Hey. Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? <laughs> yeah. He's just so like, check the ruins what? on the left bank for tracks. Really? Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Mm -hmm. To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? I love this Why? interaction. It's so good. George, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. I gotta say the... It will be. The quality of the cutscenes and the interactions and the side quests in the Daunt is really well done. I gotta and find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. The Daunt in general just feels really dense in terms of like side acti activities, things to do. And I get it, it's the, um, the start of the game. So they're kind of just like giving you this bit of this playground, easy area to get used to everything. But it also makes me wonder if they just had like a lot more time. And I'm, I'm sure this is the case, like a lot more time to work on these parts of the start of the game before, you know, the pandemic and stuff. 
and it really shows. Like the 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 content in the in the dawn is well done. Dan, hey, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, studious, studious buddies. And uh, Daniel, about the orange blaze, I like something that they did in Call of the Mountain, which I still haven't played, unfortunately. My VR headset's been down for a while, and it's not a PlayStation VR. Uh, they have green blaze, but if you shake it in VR, it turns orange, so it's like it becomes agitated. So I guess that kind of works as a weird retcon, like all of this blaze is just like more potent or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, coming from Zero Dawn recently, the, the acid blaze thing's a bit weird. <laughs> Orange Angel, you think this hike is going to last a year or something? Okay, yeah, I, I fully support that. That's something that I've always wanted to do. I just, I haven't done enough of outdoor stuff myself um, yet to feel comfortable with something like that. But I'd love to do like a, a good backpacking trip. Oh, no shield wing. Uh, in Europe, in North America, like just anywhere. Sounds amazing, so I 100% support you doing something like that. As long as you're like safe, it's well planned, of course. Greenshine? What's that? It's green like Blaze, but it's hard and shiny. She says green like Blaze. Merchants would be interested. So I wonder if maybe at one point when they were implementing the game, like they didn't have acid yet? I don't know, or it's just. The inconsistencies are a bit weird. Soundtrack sounds great, Mike. I'm kind of spoiled coming from Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack is also pretty good. A couple songs in particular that I really like. A lot of it I tend to skip on Spotify, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, we're finally in the open world. I know a lot of people, a criticism for this game is that the opening is a bit long, and I will give them that, like, it is a bit long. But as someone who just lives and breathes this series, um, there's a lot of fan service and, like, well done catch up in the opening, so I don't mind it as much. But yeah, if you're a bit more of a casual fan coming back into Horizon, I can see it being a bit much. Oh, this game is so pretty. And this is, I, I'm on medium settings right now uh, at uh, 180 resolution. I can only imagine what like the beefy PCs can get out of this. Like, man. And okay, we should do some skill points, shouldn't we? I think we're level three. We got, oh, we only got two skill points, though. It's not great. I would like to get Resonator as soon as possible. Yeah. And Nor Warrior, just because I miss melee combos, y'all. Horizon's music is way better. I, yeah, I have to agree. <laughs> All I hear is Thane when Buddy shows up. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't see me? You didn't that see really me? Definitely isn't safe. Shh. <laughs> Dan, so many edits of her being like that, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, Sophie. I really appreciate you stopping by. I, uh, it's been a lot of fun chatting with you. And uh, enjoy dinner. And we are in combat. I'm a little nervous. Let's just... Oh! What? <laughs> didn't see you there, bud. Let's just go for the melee. I think that's the way to do it right now. Knockdowns and such. Okay. Was there one more? I thought there was. Feels good to be back into the Forbidden West combat. Sun liquor politics. I'm not gonna spend too much time reading these right now just because I do have to get going in half an hour. I wouldn't mind doing a quest or two. Or honestly, just some exploration. Getting back into the field for things. I'm debating the two days that kind of work for me in the in the short-term future for streams are either Monday or Wednesday. Unfortunately, I do work a nine to five, so it has to be later in the evening. So I'm one of those two days we'll get back into the Forbidden West. Weekends are hit and miss. I do love a good Sunday stream. So I might try that now and then, but uh, I might be back tomorrow. We'll see. I, I definitely want to do as many as possible, especially at the start, just because I've missed this game so much. I haven't played Forbidden West in a while. Uh, very good shot. I guess him. Indeed, I agree. I once did like a an hour long photo shoot with this specific plant. Maybe not at this specific spot, but like keep an eye out. You'll see this exact asset 
in a couple places in the in the dawn, and I just I really like it. It looks nice. It's like a maple in fall. Green like blaze. What's going on with the blaze? I don't understand. I'm so confused. I'm being gaslit by gorilla. First they tell me blaze is green. Now it's orange. Someone help me. I have died to these lance horns before. So let's see if that happens again. We can go together, open for everyone that wants to join. Hey, there you go. That would be fun. I would love that. Sounds good, Anthony. The streams, yeah, stream's gonna close up in about 30 minutes, but uh, we will be back probably tomorrow, Wednesday. And I butchered stealth. That fireball will kill me, I think. This was not a good idea. Oh, God. Nope, you know what? I'm, I'm okay. I wanna keep the death counter low. What should we do? I don't want to go to Chain Scrape quite yet because that's a whole lot of um, just like cutscenes and that's all that we've been doing so far. We can go to the mine, but there's not a lot of machine combat in there and I don't know if I can finish it in half an hour. So I hope you guys don't mind if I just like wander around and maybe check out some of the towers for a little bit. You know what? Let's go to the, the camp or the shelter up here so we have a, a fast travel point. We can fight some machines along the way. We could do the hunting ground, maybe. Although, I don't know if I'm prepped for that. That's also a bit... Wouldn't mind a, a level or two more. No shots left. Sir, where are you going? Your interview is not complete yet. Don't you want the job of being the new accessory on my bow? After I kill you? Now, how many of these bombs is it going to take? Probably like four. Ah, come on. Wow, it's taking a lot. This, yeah, this might not be it. I also am not aiming well. Shoot. Get behind the rock, get behind the rock. I'm out of chill water. Oh, okay, nope, we're running. Goodbye. I guess we should probably uh, clear the bristlebacks as soon as possible so we can start buying some new gear, right? Yeah. I mean, hey, technically we can clear some bristlebacks before even going to chain scrape, so we can try that. But I do need acid arrows. Oh, there's so many machines. I'm gonna die, y'all. Yeah, Dan, we're doing no reticle, no HUD. Although I can turn the HUD on if I really need to, like that. But uh, I did that up. for Zero Dawn. Oh, look, it's the bush I mentioned. I did that in Zero Dawn, and not knowing where your health at is a little scary, but it's an interesting challenge. I did that for a DD and d campaign once, actually. Uh, I had a, a character who, through some weird magic quirk, couldn't feel pain, which is a super dangerous thing, and is an actual condition that some people have, which is really scary. Um, and so what we did is, mechanically, I didn't know what my character's health was at, which was awful. Oh, oh I thought I was dead. Yeah, let's try, let's try. I don't got any fire arrows, but that's fine. I'm so used to my hunter bow just knocking stuff off, you know? This is disheartening. No, I want to kill one fang horn. Yeah, Daniel, that's why I feel I feel bad about making the streams late at night, and I prefer the weekend streams for that reason, but I'm often just out and about on the weekends. I don't think I can block off a certain chunk of time every weekend, but I will try my best to do them on weekends as much as possible. I think I'm going to shoot for... So I get off anywhere between 5 and 6 work, so I'm going to shoot for uh, 7 Eastern Standard Time. But yeah, for people in Europe, that's really tough, I realize. Oh, I just tried to triple notch. <laughs> Wow, wait, three arrows? Sir. Four? Is he? Oh my god. Did y'all see that? Nope. Is my first Nora Warrior combo gonna be on this boar? No, I can't catch him. Right, I gotta fully charge the bow. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Again, used to playing Zero Dawn. No, he, what the? What? Sir! 
What is this boar eating? What? Uh, I've also died to chargers in this corner of the map, so I want to be a little careful. I can sound strike them. It's funny how chargers go from an actually like medium leveled enemy in the first game. They're like the most difficult horse mount machine to kill. In this game, they're like the easiest one though. Voting to reserve Wednesdays for Baldur's Gate as it's your day off. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, I might until I still have like five, six Baldur's Gate episodes to put out. Looks like they're in some kind of trouble. And my soul desires Forbidden West. I'm probably going to focus just on Forbidden West streams in the immediate time, but I eventually want to start maybe doing, uh, like rotating them because I, I miss Baldur's Gate so much too. I want to keep playing it. I should check in with Okay, I'm going to come back to this just because it is a bit involved. But yeah, for Act 2, I might experiment with just doing streams. The only hard part with that is. Uh, I do like playing it in like off hours now and then, which where I don't have enough time for a full stream. Uh, but you know what? It's good for like inventory management, I guess. For Baldur's Gate, that is. The you know, one thing about streaming games is that when I really, really just want to play them and hang out and have like a bit of a quiet time, I can't. But I enjoy. Oh, did that rock just kill a squirrel? Savage! Oh my god. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I really gotta try meleeing these guys, but there's three of them and I'm nervous. Plasma's a thing again, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sorry, my bow right now is really bad. I don't want to die. Oh, he didn't shoot it, okay. Let's see if I can, he's, the other ones are far enough away, I think I can start meleeing this one. Nope, he's burrowing. Oh, wow. Yeah, what did that do? Okay. okay. Oh, he's down. Let's get the crit. Oh, he's attacking, one sec. I just tried aerial striking. I don't have that yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, yep. He's down, but I'm scared to go in for the animation. Right, he's attacking. It's one. Still down. Ah, uh, yeah, they can really get you when you're stuck in an animation like that. In Zero Dawn, I didn't find that was as much of a problem. Okay. Oh. The legendary lance horns from your first playthrough, yep. They murdered me. Oh god. Yeah, nope. keep going. Come on. Get a full charge up. No. Death counter 1. Oh man. I was really trying not to. Uh it'd have been like no death playthrough. Also, I don't think any of that saved. That is tragic. But I do need to get to that shelter for the workbench. I don't want to go to Chain Scrape. There's a workbench at the hunting ground, right? I could go to the hunting ground. Okay, I'm gonna sprint back there and try not aggro everyone again and like maybe sneak. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. It's the freaking Lance Horns. It's first death, first blood. Now I'm out for blood. Just whack the wildlife yen, yeah. Apparently the wildlife has a lot of health. I did not expect that. Oh, that's so sad. 
when the taxes is over. All right, you work with taxes, I believe, if I remember correctly. Speaking of which, I still have to file mine. That's right, I'm one of the annoying people who wait forever to file their taxes, so I'm sorry. It was poetic, Ramdi, wasn't it? You know what? Just because you said that, I feel better about it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. I swear I'm good at this game. Oh, squirrel. That's someone I can take at least, right? Right, guys? No, I can't. Apparently. What? Excuse me? Oh, I lost him. No, he's over here. Okay, wow. That was a, a blow to my ego. Taxes for citizens and non-citizens. Ah. Okay, we know we're actually have to kill these. They're scrappers now? Ugh. Scroungers, rather. Could hit it with acid. Oh, he's weak to frost too, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and get Silent Strike on him, and then we can quickly go in with the arrows to finish him off. The squirrel really did win that. I'm ashamed of myself. Hey, okay, buddy, come on. Come on. Gonna need you to get a little bit closer. No one else will notice us, I think. They're pretty far away. Okay, let's get to the shelter. Save. Nope, I cannot. I can use the workbench though. That's good. That's what I wanted. Do -do 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 -do. Welcome back to the grind. <laughs> the grind that is Forbidden West. I still haven't actually like upgraded everything on my actual Forbidden West playthrough, which is a little sad. It takes way too many hours for that, and I need a sound shell right. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna... What's the next frost weapon that we can get? Um, it's probably the bow in plain song, right? So I'm not gonna have a frost weapon for a while, so it might actually be worth it to upgrade this, yeah. It's, it's pretty cheap anyways, right? Let's just do it. Hey, and I can fully upgrade it. Where do I... Where did I get a bristleback tusk? Did I loot it from one of the scrapper piles? Must have been. Okay, new life goal. Let's get that, um... That sound shell. Ugh, the grind. I know. I kind of love it, though. <laughs> no, it, it's a bit much, but I do like that it gives purpose to the machine hunting in uh, post-game. I could play with traps a bit more. I, I realize I should do that. It took me forever to come around to them in the arena, and that's why it took me so long to beat the arena. But, like, I don't like it. Okay, those chargers are aggroed. I see you. I can see you like Taylor Swift. Oh, sound shell. It's gonna be hard without the reticle. I missed my gauntlet. Yeah, let's go after this one. Okay, he is down, which is a good time to get it, but there's too many enemies. Ugh. Let's knock this one down and then try and hit the sound. Yeah. Perfect. S -s Sir? What are you doing? Ugh, it's gonna be tricky. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Shoot. That's tricky. Oh, rock hit me. Yep. I'm scared to get a little closer. 
Okay, I can focus on this one now. It's probably gonna kill him instead of knock him down. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, he's still alive. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I don't have any other strength. Yeah, I tried to do it again. Okay, we got it. That was... I didn't think that was going to happen. The tusk came from the pre-order. Oh! Oh, interesting. Speaking of which, we do have Rost's outfit waiting for us at our stash. I'm going to go grab that. And I didn't pre-order it, so I don't have the, uh, the behemoth armor and the thunderjaw armor, unfortunately. Oh, that's pretty. I am... I, I can't believe I didn't pre-order it. Like, I knew I was going to play it. I just completely forgot, honestly. And I, I think part of me thought that since it was the complete edition, it just came with it regardless. Maybe it still does. I don't know. But, eh, it's fine. Now, can we insta-kill... Wow! Oh my god, they can see forever. Or far away. How could... Jeez, Ultra Hard is no joke, y'all. Yeah, it, it is pretty time-consuming. I, I love the combat in this game, so I didn't mind it. But the fact that me and all my hours of Forbidden West on my main PlayStation save still have not upgraded everything. It was the shard count that got me in the end, honestly. It's kind of ridiculous. It's not instant kill. Oh my god. We should get some of the horns for upgrading, I guess. Okay, so like the scrounger, it's a, it's a sound strike and then three hits to a weak spot. Not bad. Did I pick it up? Oh! Oh, that got me? Jeez. Uh, I missed Strike from above. I was gonna try and get it. Oh! No! What? And I just leveled up too. Y'all, I'm bad at this game. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, at least we're here. Is my stuff upgraded? Oh, I did. I don't have the sound shell anymore. No. Oh no, I kept it. Okay. Uh, this game is a bit more forgiving with um, deaths than I think Zero Dawn was. Wow, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm ashamed. You, you, sh you guys should leave. I'm kidding. No, please stay. Y'all are great. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, death number two to a scrounger. How are we going to survive this game, you guys? Okay, let's just go somewhere else. Um, let's do let's do the tower. Why not? No, it's gonna take me take me a bit to get back into flow of combat, and I think I forget just how vulnerable you are this early in the game. Did I get the level up though? Where's my uh, where's the XP actually shown? Does anyone know? Uh, huh. Oh, I mean, I could just there it is. Okay, yeah. A couple more machines and I'll level up. I should probably start perking into the range the stuff. Watchtower at the top of that cliff. It looks like the path up broke a long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. <laughs> Told you it's gonna be hard. Yeah, you did this, right, Enz? Yeah, it's brutal. What, um, if you don't mind me asking, I'm just curious. What do you think was, like, the hardest either section of the game or, like, specific fight, maybe? Uh, in Zero Dawn, I, I find the, the, uh, fight in the City of the Sun with the two corruptors just always gives me a hard time for some reason. Like, in my head, I'm like, two corruptors, it's not that bad, but at that that point in the game, with the gear that you have, it is kind of rough. Or, I'm bad. One of the two. Geth is gay death. <laughs> Geth number two. All of my deaths are gay deaths. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh my god, in Baldur's Gate, whenever they say geek, for the, the Mind Flayers, yeah, I'm like, oh, oh no, we're gonna, we're all gonna turn into gay. 
amusing. The world on her shoulders is playing. I'm a happy gamer. The reason I have to leave and oh my god, it's 454? No, I want to keep playing. The reason I have to leave in a little bit is because I actually have a D&D game in a couple couple minutes. Well, it's more like an hour, but I gotta travel in Lalida. My uh, friend's character, she's had a sword the entire game that has a dragon lich in it. And it's been a really cool sword, but unfortunately it just like awakened a little bit and is now feeding on her soul. And anyone who dies within 30 feet of her is permadeath and sucked into the, the um, what's it called? The, the lich thing that has the soul, phylactery. Anyways, it's bad, but I'm excited. <laughs> Back to Forbidden West. That was a long repel. Oh my god. Did I get XP for that? I didn't. Okay. I, d I don't want to do too many of these towers yet. I prefer doing them when you have the shield wing. All the starting areas are hard and ultra hard. The moment you get to gear up is smooth sailing. Yeah, I feel like that'll be the case. It's like this hunter bow is just like kind of bad. No shade, no tea, no shade, but like spill. Um, I just want my shredder gauntlet. That's all. Ooh, it's the plant. It's the plant. I'm going to do a video or a stream of just counting how many of these assets are in the dawn. That's quality content. Should I actually have a death counter? I'm gonna be doing some some playing off camera though. I guess I could just keep track off camera as well. But like I might actually do that. <laughs> Wanna get as many sound shells as I can. Just because. Oh, the spear did not render in. His arms in the way. Dumb little robot. Is it? It's funny that none of them call them robots. It's machines. I don't know. I just thought of that. I mean, both are accurate, but I guess does a robot have more of a, a human implication? Like, I feel like a robot would look more like a human than a, a machine would could be more animal based. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Zion Canyon, another place I would love to go to. I have a confession to make for those of you who are Fallout fans and have been following some of the Fallout stuff I've been doing. Uh, I have played every Fallout game, except New Vegas, and I know it's the best one. Uh, I know vaguely what happens in the plot, I just never got around to playing it, I didn't have time. And I feel like the people who follow me for Fallout stuff now, will unsubscribe if they hear me say that. Uh, so I would love to do some streams for New Vegas at some point. But anyways, the reason I bring this up is there is a DLC in New Vegas that goes to Zion, which is where we are right now. Uh, but I haven't played it and I don't really know what it looks like. So I'm curious to see. It's probably a lot more dull and less beautiful. Because <laughs> Fallout. I remember struggling so hard with the final battle that I replayed the entire game just to get better weapons, make that one specific battle easier. Honestly, fair. If you're not ready for that fight, it... It's rough. On your first ultra hard run, I managed to get to till this fight only blue level weapons. Then couldn't get through it. Yeah, I can imagine that would be, I don't know how I'd do that. Uh, underwater cave right here, but I think we're gonna skip it for now. You can't get everything unless you get the uh, rebreather. Uh, this one actually, you might be able to get everything. One of the two you have to come back later. Oh, I want revenge, but I'm gonna die if I try, you know? You know? Is there a campfire nearby? It's that, oh, that's the cave. No, we're doing it, we're doing it. Nope, they see me, I'm running away, I'm scared. Nope, 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 nope. Don't judge me too hard. You know, actually, I upgraded my frost sling. We're doing it. <gasps> the upgrade was actually significant, y'all. 
the brittle sound effect I'd forgotten. It's so yummy. I should try and get the antlers, right? Yeah. Oh, but I can't aim. Come on, get it off. Really? Crump. Oh, I wasn't hitting it. Shoot. The hitbox is a bit funny, isn't it? I got one. Okay, that's all I wanted. God, these guys are tough. Yeah, let's let, let's let them run away. I'm gonna recoup here. This should level me up if I kill them. Revenge, that's right. Steady. I guess with everything piling up, you're not gonna finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Horizon 3 comes out. <laughs> Probably, honest, there's so many games I wanna play, but like, of course I'm replaying Forbidden West. Um, Baldur's Gate's just too long, man, which is not a negative. Like, it's amazing how much content they've shoved into that game, but I think if I start streaming it semi, regularly it should be okay and like i've started just recording quests that feel like more like the main quest and i still am not even close like i just started act two it's crazy i think this is the one that i was yeah wow okay i was gonna say god die please right, i am gonna take the skill point before we Continue, because I need it. Let's just do Concentration Plus. That feels good, right? Oh, no, you know what? Mm, mm, mm. Maybe I should go for some of the Survivor stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. That makes sense. Come on, come on! Please don't attack me. That's good. I want him to go down. Okay. No, oh, there's a freaking burrower. Dang it. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Disengage. Smoke bomb. <gasps> the game has smoke bombs. Oh my god, thank god. I miss them in, in Zero Dawn so much. Oh, please don't hit me. Where's the fang horn? Okay, there he is. Scrappers are worse? Yeah. Scrappers actually hit pretty hard in this game. They made Scroungers as like the baby version, and they I feel like they buffed Scrappers a bit more. Okay, I could get another Silent Strike. I think that's the right play here. Really? <laughs> right, I don't have any of my stealth perks, so. If you guys didn't catch it, speaking of stealth, check out Chasmataz's channel. Lots of great stuff there. Uh, I was on one of his videos a couple months ago for uh, the Frost Bellowback trial, and I, it was fun for me to actually devise like a smart, stealthy approach to it, because I don't usually do that, I, and I tend to be the person to just run in and attack, like so. Yeah, and he's got a lot of great content on this channel as well. No, no, okay. Put mind one more set of your- yeah, perfect, okay. Revenge! I hope I didn't just scream in all your ears. Okay, I said I was going to be done by now, but I'm going to play for a couple more minutes just because I love this game so much. And uh, thank you guys all so much for joining today. I know we had a bit of a rough start. I'm glad it seems to be working. I'm going to play with the settings off, off uh, camera. It's funny that, that that audio setting was the one that was causing those issues. Um, I've used it for every other game, including Zero Dawn and Baldur's Gate, so I don't know what's going on there, but it is technically a beta thing, so. How many bombs per... A brewer, I wonder. If I can just aim... Oh, two! Okay. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, he's high. 
fighting in the water. Good for him. Valid tactic. Oh, come on. I don't use slings a lot, guys. This is why. Seriously? Okay, we're just going in. And I'm out of chill water. What has chill water in the dawn? Nothing, right? How am I supposed to get more of that? Shoot! Ah, oh, God! What? What? That means I didn't kill the lance horns. Or the fang horns. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all. Geth number three. You won't survive without stealth. Yeah, I'm I'm coming to realize that. Okay. I'm gonna kill them one more time because I cannot leave this stream without killing these stupid fang horns. <laughs> and then we're gonna call it. I, I think I just, I, I'm so used to being over leveled as heck on these games that I just forget, I said it before, how vulnerable you are. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, this is, I like to advertise myself as someone who's capable of this game. And clearly, that is a false, false advertising. I am garbage. Okay, I feel better about that. I got both of the answers off. <laughs> Daniel, the death counter is, is coming. <laughs> it has to now. No, fireball is a third level spell. Don't throw it at me. Okay. Got the level up, y'all. Let's just quickly do that again. Having some deja vu. The Daunt is brutal. Who knew the easy area of the game that is designed to be a little bit, you know, to coddle you and to get you back up to speed with the, uh, the mechanics? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can get a stealth hit on him. Revenge 2.0. <laughs> Alex, hey, good to see you. Ultra hard actually being ultra hard. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I need smoke bombs. That's what I need. Can someone tell me the earliest you can get smoke bombs? I don't remember. You can get them the dawn for sure, right? Like, it's a core gameplay mechanic. The slide shooting is much better in Forbidden West as well. They let you overdraw immediately, which is nice. And there's a little bit of an auto-aim. Uh, or aim support if you slide, at least on very hard. I don't know about ultra hard. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Face down, let's... You know what, let's freeze him again, honestly. Chill water in the dawn. At least you can't get more. Alright. Revenge! Stupid fang horns and their stupid fangs and their stupid horns. <laughs> Turns out you might go for that trapper build in this playthrough, you know what? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, it's, that's the one with the Karja armor, right? So. Oh, I forgot to get Rost's armor out of the uh, stash. Is there another. Shelter in the Daunt that isn't Chain Scrape? I don't think so, right? It's just the one, really, which is weird. I, I know I could just go to Chain Scrape, but I don't want to engage with all of the talking right now. Feeling a little antisocial, you know what I mean? Antisocial Aloy. If these guys kill me again, I quit. I'm done playing Forbidden West. That's it. Stream over. Forever. Oh, that was really close. That could have killed me. Oh, 
No. That's one. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Alex, is this the first stream that you've caught? Oh, I'm glad you're able to stop by. Um, but uh, that's okay. We're we're about to end off anyway, so I'm actually ten minutes late. I'm being bad. I just miss this game so much. Oh, and you know the nostalgia of starting a new a new file, a new playthrough. It's just so fun. There is something enjoyable about like the starts of games like these, where you do feel a bit more weak, and you really gotta plan and be careful. It's it's fun to think about how far you can really come in the game. Like from this to killing you know who at the end. Oh, and then the you know who at the end of the DLC too. Oh my gosh. At the area with the bristleback, is there a shelter? Okay. Oh sorry, is that where you're at in the playthrough? That woman gives it to you when you help her stuck friend. Oh no, you're talking about the smoke bombs. I do remember that. You know what? Let's let's do that really quick. I know I said that we we're gonna be done, but come on, did you actually think I was gonna be done? <laughs> I have to like eat, clean up, and do a billion things in the next 30 minutes, but I would much rather play Bit West. I'll come back to the tower. Love that we got more Osram architecture in uh, Forbidden West as well. That was cool to see, even if it was very brief. Consider it foreshadowing from where we go to the claim. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. In Horizon 3, it's gonna happen. I'll be able to tinker with my other gear too. Oh yeah, I also still need to finish the Zero Dawn playthrough, Alex. Uh, I am... I did not finish it before this came out. That was my goal. It did not happen. It's okay. I'm never gonna finish a game ever again. It's a miracle that I did the Forbidden West playthrough. Oh my god. It's the only game that I played for like a whole year. <laughs> uh, there's a... Uh, I think there's a quest here later? Like there's a Fanghorn you gotta kill? The Rib, right? I'll just get the green shine really quick. I like crystals. All of my D&D characters have their own reason for collecting crystals because I like crystals. I am a basic gay in that sense. Uh, my previous character, it was uh, because it was what him and his mom used to do. He had a lot of trauma. He was that D&D character. My current one is because she believes in crystal healing. Yeah. My previous, previous one was because he was collecting them for the royal crown, which is the thing we did at the end of the campaign. You know, there's gotta be a reason, you know? All of my characters, they just they just have hordes, you know. If I find the right cauldron, where are you off to? Don't say that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and finish a game or two. Probably won't happen. I don't game as much as I used to. I just life, you know? I was like, man, when I get out of school, I'm gonna finally just like be gaming 24-7, and then I had to actually start life <laughs> but I still game quite a bit I can't complain my job is very good for having good work-life balance and I cannot complain about that it's always something hold tight I'll see what I can do I guess we can do this combat really quick why not eh It was just lose sight of me. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's separate them. Oh, they're weak to acid, right? Let's do that. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. Okay, two arrows to get them corrosive state. Okay. Nope, 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 they're all following me. Where am I off to? Do you not see this pack of wolves attacking me? Like, dude, come on. This should make it easier. Acid is basically just worse for us, right?
Okay, that's good. That was quite the jump, Aloy. <laughs> oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm in the red, I'm in the red, I'm in the red. Back up. He's throwing electric bolts at me. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I'm gonna die. I, I, I just know the Fanghorns are telling them what to do. Like, the Fanghorn ghosts, they're whispering in the ears of these scroungers, being like, kill her. Is he dead? No? Oh my god. Really quick is not a thing here. Yeah, I don't know why I said I could do that. Um, again, in my head, I'm like, three scroungers? Oh, I can just stab them all once and they'll die. No. Oh god, that... I was... <laughs> Still said that one looks scary. I didn't save after those fanghorns, did I? Why am I like this? Why did I keep going? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, the Fanghorns are still dead, everyone. It's 5.15. I was just about to say we're gonna leave it off there, but I need my revenge. I'm sorry, this stream is getting repetitive. It's it's because it should have been over by now. We're gonna actually continue with the game soon. Next stream. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> I can't leave it like this. Oh my god. Uh, your sister's boyfriend offered you to join a one-off D&D campaign. Your first unique experience ever. You don't like him. Oh, okay. I will say playing D&D with people you don't like is not a fun experience as much as I advocate for just playing D&D as much as you can because it's so fun. Oh, I don't know. Like, I would say maybe try it. Maybe just try it once. Uh, I'm going to dismantle this just so I can get by. That is tough, though. Death number four, and we haven't even gotten to trip chain scrape, y'all. I'm bad. Why kill it like that? What do you think the tripwires are? Sir, this is ultra hard. The tripwires don't do a thing. Like, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I got them both. Hey! That's a first. This is fun. I like this. Oh, oh, no, no, ma'am. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. That's it, right? <sighs> Even to do stealth is close to impossible here? Yeah, I really need smoke bombs. Oh my god, I'm a shield blade. What am I doing? Oh, oh, oh. Cool. <laughs> it worked out. Tripwire's <laughs> handy. You have legit reasons for not liking him? No, that's that's fair. Even if you didn't. Playing people with DD that you just don't vibe with? Sorry, did I say playing people with DD? I'm tired. Playing DD with people. Uh, are they wolves or like hyenas? I think they are supposed to be more hyena like. So I feel like the wolf machine is the Ravager, but feel free to disagree with me on that. It's a little like, they borrow from more than one thing, I think. Thurlis, how's it going, buddy? I'm trying to pick up this plant. There we go. See, you're a practiced hunter. Apparently not, because I died. time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristle. Just drop my controller. <laughs> so the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Oh, man. Down that bristleback, headed south. And then those scroungers showed up to carve the Ooh, carcass. I had my leg crossed for like the last 30 minutes. And another bristleback ran through. I can't feel I'm it right now. You, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south. Probably. Dang. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. That's see. a good thing. Hold on there, Red. You're gonna go chasing across the daunt. You're gonna want a trip caster. Ah, uh, the trip caster. Just any trip my favorite caster. weapon that One I definitely use Free of all the charge. time. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep, I've been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to 
tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Osram and their accidental accidents. Did accidental accidents. Gotta watch out for those. <laughs> well, like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt, Olvind. <laughs> sack the of wet of chain dirt. Scrape. Brutal. There's the town treating him as such. <laughs> Daniel, don't Back call me out. I know town. what I am. <laughs> <laughs> took a real interest in I can't wares. sit like a normal human being for more than like Kept 20 minutes until I have to like discount. bring my leg up. No, and, uh, I didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that Jeff Bucket set my workshop on fire. Oh, I forgot about I that. best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and <laughs> this is a joke. Please laugh. No, it's of one of my favorite stereotypes. <laughs> Anything about the bristlebacks? No, Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. All right, you keep moving. Get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, ends. Don't like cross your legs. You grounds. reached forty, right? Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come I might be an idiot, but I don't get the joke. Maybe. <laughs> After I get things under control. If it is a joke, I apologize. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my fingers. Okay, no, I just want the smoke bombs, and then I can leave and eat. I haven't had food in like five hours. Come on, I will take all these shards though. <laughs> Watch, I died. Well, I can. Oopsies. Yeah, what's what's the guy's name who sells us the tripcaster in uh, in the embrace? Um, starts with the K, I think. It's the merchant that trades with her. I just did Heart of the Nora. Um, shoot. Oh my God. Karst, Karst. Um, my my head cannon for the reason as to why my version of Aloy doesn't use a tripcaster ever is because it reminds her of Karst, and because Karst dies during the assault on the embrace, it's just too much emotional baggage, and that's why. You know, I have I have my reasons. Oh, that's fair. And thankfully, my my needs haven't gone on me yet. But uh, I I am weird, and when I go downstairs, I go down them like two at a time. And I can feel the jolt in my knee each time, but I do it because I don't know. I'm a happy little gay guy, um, <laughs> but I know in like 10 years, my knees are going to be gone. It's OK, though. Where? It's, it's further south, right? Yeah. Death number. Never mind. Yeah, no, you, you were you were ready to. I will actually get a death counter going. That's I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna figure out a way to get my uh, new stream deck. I can just hit a button to increment it. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Okay, we're fine. Uh, I am actually going to wrap up soon now, though. Uh, anyone got anything exciting happening this week? Tomorrow is unfortunately Monday. Relic ruin. We're gonna skip that. This is the one I think. I'm honestly excited just to be at home, like, in my apartment here this week. It's good to be back in my childhood home for a bit, but, uh, I miss having my space. And I get to stream now, so. Yeah, that's the blow-up. Let's get some tasks if we can. Look at him bubble. I want to ask Gorilla what the exact chemical comp uh, formula for the acid is. <laughs> Where is he? Excuse me? A bug? That is terrifying. This is this is the soul of the Lancehorn that killed me. I keep saying Lancehorn. Fanghorn. He's, every time I die in this game now, it's going to be because the machine was possessed by those fanghorns. 
Uh, sorry, where were those os over here? Oh, and that's fair. Uh, I mean, listen, Aloy is super hot, but I am not. <laughs> Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, I have had girlfriends. So. Delicate behind to the embassy. <laughs> that's something <If> else. <laughs> we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape. Then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll I... out the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good the outfit idea design in this game spectacular. You know how much I love I it. I hate that awesome going. outfit. It just I get that this is to protect the face from sparks. Now, it's very practical. It looks bristlebacks. so dumb. It's just bad. Make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thank you. Thanks. Truly, this is life changing. It is funny how much in my first playthrough, if you've watched it, I just completely ignore smoke bombs, and I really, really started to like them. Uh, and understand how valuable they are, and then going to Zero Dawn and not having them is rough. Um, how much? It's blast paste, I think, right? Yeah. It's pretty expensive. Five machine muscle too. We don't have a ton of that right now. Oh god, I gotta do... Oh yeah, you can't craft upgrades in, uh, in your inventory. Um, resource pouch upgrades, weapon pouch upgrades, all that's gotta come on still. So. Okay, let's call it a day. I'm gonna find a nice spot to end off. The signal my focus picked up is coming closer. from the metal tower. Maybe I should check it out. Oh, we're gonna kill the rat! Oh, I actually did it. Did not expect to get that. An image from the old world. Do, 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 do. Building in front of sheer cliffs. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken. Look at that. And there it is. Oh. Completing the image and lock the data file. Daniel, it happens. Yep. It looks like I hear you. <laughs> Miriam Technologies. Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild. Yeah, the Vista points weren't super memorable and or rewarding. The uh, the ones, the vantage points in Zero Dawn were incredible, and that's in a big part and due to the uh, the Apaka Shitstorm. Apaka Shitstorm story, it's one of the most emotionally gripping things about Zero Dawn, if you ask me. Reading through that whole thing back to back, it's amazing. And these just didn't carry the same emotional weight, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Not having a girlfriend in the game, oh no. Aloy being queer is fun for us lesbians and bi girls, true, true. I was honestly, like, I, listen, we all kind of knew she was a little bit, a little bit bent, right? Like, come on, from Zero Dawn. Like, her interactions with Petra, Talana, it's like, come on. When we got it, like, confirmed, I was happy. Just, it's cool to have something uh, in something in common a bit with this incredible character that Gorilla's given us, you know? Makes me happy. I, I feel like she might be, not that, I don't want to get into this whole discussion, because, <laughs> but I feel like she might be bi, because, I don't know, I've also felt like some feels between her and some of the guy characters in the game, but honestly, that just might be me projecting my feelings onto her. But at the end of the day, it really don't matter. And if you think it does, it don't. She can she can do what she wants. And on that note, <laughs> let's not get into it, guys. But uh, that was a lot of fun. Again, sorry for if you guys were here since the start, which for those of you who were, thank you guys so much for the support. Again, I... Oh, come on. I'm doing my outro. You guys know how much I appreciate the support, and it's just being here in the dawn, thinking back to where I started with the channel, uh, where I was just doing these videos not thinking anyone was going to watch it, it's crazy to think about this, uh, where we are now. Hey, I gotta level up. So, um, again, I probably say it too much, but I really, really appreciate the support. You guys are awesome, and it's so fun to get to share uh, playing this game with you guys. You know how much I love Horizon. I'm just trying to find somewhere calm to end off. <laughs> I really should have just climbed a tower to finish, but uh, we're not doing that. I really do gotta get going. I'll just get up here really quick. And yeah, I haven't figured out if it's gonna be tomorrow or Wednesday, but we'll be back with more Forbidden West on one of those two days. So keep your eye out if you wanna tune in. 
And for all of you guys who are playing Forbidden West on PC right now, I hope you are having a blast. Um, I do still need to tweak my settings. Uh, I think I could get a little bit more performance out of this, but we will have to wait and see. Uh, from the beginning, I knew she, she ain't. Nah, I, there, we knew. Um, it was always getting flustered on women made me think there's no, yeah, exactly, right? Struggles and all, I appreciate it. We, we managed to figure it out. I was a little worried at first, so I was like, oh shit, this is just not going to work. Uh, I will try and have fun D&D. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. Going to go have some dinner. God knows I need it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for stopping by. It's been a blast. And I can't wait to get back into the Daunt. Uh, tomorrow or Wednesday, I don't think we're going to get to the Embassy, but I think we're just going to try and do as many side quests in the Daunt as possible. There is a ton to do Check here before we start the Embassy. Maybe. Uh, the Eclipse, the Miners, all of the Towers, lots of good stuff to do. Oh, and the Hunting Grounds. The Hunting Grounds, do we count the deaths in the Hunting Grounds on the Death Counter if I make it? I don't know, probably, but the Hunting Grounds can get a bit chaotic. We'll see. There's like, what, like 10 Scroungers in there? I don't know. Yeah, have a great night, everyone, uh, wherever you are in the world. Morning, afternoon, night. It's about evening for me. I'm Eastern Standard Time, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you later. Bye for now, and have a great night. See you guys.